Sweet. Nice. And we're live. <laughs> and we're live again. Yeah, so what, uh, what K-Slugs is doing right now is called setting up Furnace Fun Moves, as uh, Rage said in the chat. Uh, I don't know exactly how this works, but basically, if you have a file in the game that has all of the moves learned in the single player file, you can like hover over that file and the file select, and then go back to the new file that you want to start the game on. And when you start that game, you'll have those moves accessible. But before you do that, I actually have to back up a sec. You have to go back to the first file that has all these moves, which is where he is right now. And you basically have to like die in Furnace Fun, the quiz show game at the end. After you die here, then you go to the new file that you're going to actually do the speedrun on. And then you have most of the moves of the game available to you. You don't have to go out of your way to learn them. So that's a bit of a roundabout way of explaining it. Um, but this normally takes like a few minutes or so for him to do this. So he's probably going to give us like a signal in the webcam when he's ready to go. Mm. We'll see the timer actually start when it's ready. Don't you need to lose your lives first? Uh, I believe that is the case, actually. I'm not sure why he wouldn't have done that already. He might come to realize that and then just die a few more times. Man, y'all are trusting me to be the closest to the mic? It's very dangerous. <laughs> very dangerous. That's very dangerous, guys. Who, whose idea was that? <laughs> not my idea. Maybe I should whisper <laughs> the entire time. We got K-Slug's yellow. Poor yellow turtle gonna get uh Sit here a little bit, get in the camera over. view. Let the people see your pretty face. There you My go. pretty face? Yeah. There he is. I think he has a pretty Wait, face. Wait, so what is he doing right now? He's taking the... He's Sorry. dying on purpose. Oh, okay. I see, I see, yeah. I see. Yeah. Um, he should have zero lives here. I'm not sure why he doesn't. Maybe he just forgot. But we'll see. Yeah, because zero lives, you have to reset. Okay. I yeah, there, there, there. Yep, there yep, 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 Peter, you It's all it. right, buddy. You're doing great. <laughs> You're doing great. It's all right. We got, we got time. We're, we're ahead of schedule, don't no, worry. Nothing like messing <laughs> up the setup. That's all good. That's, That's okay. Well, you're right. We noticed it on the webcam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was funny. Yeah, face palm. Oh, I missed. <laughs> good, good catch from Rage, though. Rage uh, must know a thing or two about speedrunning Banjo. Yeah, so he's hoping for... There's different types of questions you can get, and he's hoping for the kind of question that will allow him to die, so he doesn't have to spend too much more time here. Oh, no. Look who's here, guys. Do you see that in the chat? James Young is the fake James. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, you already... Yeah. Who, who, who is Tanks for playing? That is uh, James Free, the actual <laughs> fake James. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> the actual <laughs> fake James. That's right. Thanks for joining. Coming in, James. That's right. Glad to have you. You used to run this game around the time the trick was discovered. Nice. Yeah, I think k has got to start just before FFM was discovered. And then he learned that new route. And this, this was maybe like five years ago or so that this happened. Four, maybe. Now he's gonna get murdered by some bees, and then the run will be on its way to actually start. Oh man, all right. This is a visual of me with uh, horse flies in my run with the cross country team yesterday. Oh no. Boy, <laughs> horse, horse flies are brutal. Yeah? They just kept going after me just like this. I'm like, go away. <laughs> oh, it was rough. Get the mouse ready so I can scroll through some notes. We go. So to keep the people informed. <laughs> there we are. Thanks, buddy. You're the funny one? Nice. I think I think this James is pretty funny. I think I'm pretty funny too. His runs make me laugh with glee at seeing one of my favorite games done so expertly. That's a good save, I think. You know. <laughs> just seeing just seeing you practice it. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go, guys. Alright. Let's do it. Woo! Let's go. Three, two, two one. one. Hi. Hi. Here we go. Let's go, Kevin. Gotta play. Yeah. Gotta play on the All Game right. Boy file. Game Boy file. That's the chosen one. Start off speed run. Here's bottles. Gonna tell us something we don't care about. <laughs> what's, what's, it, what's called speed runs with slugs. Speed runs with with slugs. slugs. With actual slugs. Press Keep A if you want to teach me some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good enough. We're good enough, Bottle Brain, is what we say. <laughs> uh, so right now he doesn't have all the moves learned because FFM activates uh, after Spiral Mountain. Oh. Okay. Fun fact, the height of that backflip move is slightly random, so he doesn't always actually make it up to that ledge. And he got a first try. And he got a first try. Yeah, sometimes it takes two or three I've tries. I've seen many runs where he did not get that first try. Got rage. Fourth time watching SGDQ, second time viewer. My donation passed away from cancer. Money goes to save the donation, save the frames. Save, Hi! Really? Save the frames. <laughs> it's, wow, actually, I didn't even think about this. Too bad none of us are speedrunning Super Metroid. 
We yeah. could literally save the animals. We could save the and animals. And you guys can save the animals. Idea. We need we need a donation incentive by, by donating. You know what? If you if you <laughs> if you type in exclamation point charity and view the donation <laughs> link, you can actually save real life animals <laughs> right. with your money. So please do so today that's if a, you are a opportunity. if you're, you're willing and able. <laughs> I'll have to learn uh, SM just for just for that. <coughs> just Peter. for that. Speedrun Super Metroid. Speedrun Super Metroid. Boy, there's no more intimidating prospect. I'd rather that's, run. That's an intimidating. I'd rather yeah. go on the presidential debate stage than <laughs> Super, Super Metroid. Super I like cats Metroid. the best. Cats are amazing. Are yep. you saving any cats with this money? I do believe that the Heartland yes. Animal Shelter uh, does also work with the feline yes. friends. That's so correct. Uh, they, they do both. Yes. In fact, on their website, they're they're made pictures of cats. They're nice. So. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna see him doing this run and uh, flutter move a lot before he learns the talent trot. I believe after he gets through spiral, he's gonna get talent trot back. Mm -hmm. He's gonna try to skip bottles at the top of this mountain. Oh this, yeah, this is right. very difficult. If he if he gets it, it saves him maybe like nine ish seconds. Let's see if he makes it. Not oh, quite. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you can tell by his face. Yeah, but uh, it's all good. It's just a few seconds lost. Actually, way less than I. Thought yeah, it did. <laughs> you get on entering mumbos. Nice. There is a cutscene that we skip. There's Grunty having her neck very All painfully right, eight aligned. seconds ahead of his PV pace, right? Nice. Yep. Yeah. Got a nice two twenty-one twelve. First jiggy. Getting jiggy. Oh man! Me. So his PV run, he really struggled at Spiral Mountain then. Yeah, his PB run really came in clutch at the end. He saved a ton of time on Furnace Fun. He mm. got the skip in Furnace Fun very quickly, which yeah. saved him like minutes. Uh, the rest of his run had been pretty good, but still consistently behind. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, We'll see if he can stay ahead. Right. But, you know, anything can happen in Banjo. He'll be the first one to tell you that. Um, pretty much so many things can go wrong at so many different opportunities. Sure. It's a very yeah. stressful game. Um, but it is a great uh, crowd pleaser game, I think. Oh, yeah. 10 seconds lost bottle skip on Xbox because you can't skip text. That's Ooh. a good point, actually. Yeah, so this game is on... Uh, Xbox as well, the Xbox Arcade, I think it might be called. So, yeah. see, so you were you were right. Oh, you just actually, you just forgot yeah. the exact. Version. There <laughs> I forgot. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you, Chile, for uh, proving Reveal, me right. We're bailing you uh, out there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Xbox version, you cannot skip text. I think here you skip text. Someone will probably correct me by pressing L or something and then A. There's some way to do it. Oh, here we go. Termite Hill. We want no mistakes Ants here. Ants Hill. Here yeah, go. you're supposed to turn into a termite to be able to scale this hill, but he's just going with jumps. Oh man. See if he can make it. Oh, good yeah, kill. It no mistakes so far. Nice. Looking good. Looking good. I think this is the last uh, set before the exit. And nice. Ah, Ant Hill. Yeah. Hill. Yeah. We love us some clean ant hills here. There we go. Nice. Oh. Ooh. That's kind of. <laughs> kind of you can tell that bit. wasn't intentional. Yeah. We'll, we'll run with it. We'll run with it. Uh, young Sir Squatch, Rybro would be happy to know that he you ran two miles two days in a row. Good job, wow. Sir Squatch. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm pretty proud of you. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, can you make it three? <laughs> <laughs> but don't run too many days in a row. Your body does need to rest up. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That's important. Everything in moderation. Never seen that before. There's a Jinjo. What's up, KB Meows? Good to see Chase you. Free. Yeah. Chase Free. Chase Oh, so running. running. <laughs> <laughs> I see we have a contrarian in chat. Yeah. That's one feels the same way about running. <laughs> that one hey. time where I made you run a 5K with all of us. Hey, oh, but boy. I did it. You did, did do it. it. And I'm getting better at it, too. You did do it, yes. And Art. James Free did not do it. <laughs> <laughs> so we have our first uh, boss, I guess you could call him. We have Konga, not to be confused with uh, Donkey Kong. Kevin is going to try to basically no-scope Konga, shoot him with an egg without looking at him. So which, three, uh, 360 no-scope? 360 no-scope. I think that's what it says in the notes, actually. Oh, it just says no-scope. Um, but yeah, he's going to try to, he's going to learn how to shoot eggs from bottles right here very quickly. Look at that. Bottles is important. Look at that. Bottles is important. So he's going to force Konga to throw some eggs. Oof. Or throw some oranges, rather. Jump Oof. over them. Okay. Yeah, no 360. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You could for the fans. So he's gonna try to do a blind shot on the on this platform. Let's do a spread to try to catch him. Looks like he missed. He's gonna yeah. try it again. There we there go. You there you go. go. Nice. Nice. No one v one on rust yet. You gotta gotta get one v one on rust. Come on. Spawning that jiggy. Getting up to that jiggy is gonna be fun to watch when we get there after Mumbos. That was like the real first moment of his speedrun that I saw and I was really impressed. 
getting up. So there. yeah, when I first saw Kevin start to speedrun this game, he started showing me a couple of his tricks. That was the first real trick that I was taken back. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. So that whenever he does that, I'm like, heck yeah, because that was when I was like, oh man, this guy's pretty legit at this game. <laughs> yeah. And we saw him, we saw him uh, stand in the right the right position next to that orange panel on the ground for the jiggy to fall directly on top of him, which saves I think a few seconds. He doesn't have to go through an animation of going and getting yeah. the jiggy. Yeah. Little things. That's the little thing. There's. There's t as in, as with many speed runs, there's tons of little things. We're gonna see him uh, oh, get wow. all the juju's uh, without getting off cycle, so that's nice. Clean. Here we go. Very well clean. Done. Yeah. yeah, man. Just moving. Yeah. You know, aside from uh, that little slip up on Congo with the no scopes, this has otherwise been a really good run. The anthill being clean was huge. We love some clean we'll anthills. Yep. Or termite hill, if you want to be correct. <laughs> Go say hi to Mumbo real quick and steal some of his belongings. Of course, as you just do. A quick raid. Just yeah. a quick raid. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, raid Shadow Legends. Peace <laughs> suit. <laughs> Peace suit. Get an extra life, but we don't need that. <laughs> you do die a couple times intentionally in this run, uh, not on this level. But we are never in danger of a true game over. Unfortunately, in this game, one thing that is different from the Xbox version is that if you die during a level, you will have to recollect all of the notes that you had collected up to that point. Oh, really? Wow. And, yeah, so dying that. dying when you don't intend to is very, very bad if you are, you know, in any significant way into the level. Because you're going to have to do so much work all over again. And I wow. think in, in most circumstances, that would be a run killer. Um, it's kind of crazy how they kind of make things less convenient. Yeah. Usually, just, when they release uh, games or remaster them, they're usually more convenient. He canceled the jiggy animation? Yeah, he canceled the jiggy animation by jumping into the water. That's really cool. Uh, that's a really nice trick. Um, I may have said it backwards, Ryan. Uh, in this version, you lose all the notes when you die, unless you got 100. But in the Xbox version, you do not lose your notes. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, that so makes more sense. They did yeah. make it more convenient. Here's the trick! Good mumbos are still ahead. Here we go, scaling the mountain. First try. Oh, yes! yes. yes. You no, know, I, I always think he's going to miss it because his model's kind of yeah. far away from the Jiggy, but he actually he gets there. I just have to have faith. Very impressive. <laughs> and chat, as you can as you can hear, you know, you are all in for a treat today. Because usually Peter is, you know, spilling his knowledge in the <laughs> chat. But now we get to hear him talk all day I long. I do, and my he voice will probably be words. shot by the end of it. <laughs> he has a way with words, so we are all going to be in awe of Peter's... Wise word choices thank you, thank throughout, you. throughout the evening. I have seen many of these runs, so at least for this one, I'll be pretty talkative. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but next up, we do have Treasure Trove Cove TTC. I believe yeah. anyone in chat, if you type in exclamation point TTC. quote 26, I think that one will tell you how a lot of us feel about Oh, what's my favorite TTC. place? Uh, it, is, it is very fun as a viewer. Um, as a player, it has some of the most challenging moments, I think, according to Kevin. There it is. Court 26. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> disagree. Best place in the game. Best music. Best, I, I would, it's one of the most I, memorable, for, memorable, for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Such good music all, across the board, though. I think it is hard to... I've gone so far as to even sing the music during some of Kevin's runs in the past. Ah. <laughs> ah, should I do it again today? Hey, Yo, Joe Davis! Speaking, speaking of fuck TTC, here's Jaw Davis himself. <laughs> What's up, Joe? Glad you could make it. I love right when his quote appears, Joe appears. Pretty good time yeah, there. very fitting. He was summoned. You can also do exclamation point Joe in the chat. If you do exclamation point Joe in the chat, you will also see a fun surprise. Anyone who wants to try that out. How many days in a row should you run? Well, if you're not used to running, um, Josh, you should like three and then, and then uh, take a day off at least. Um, if you get more used to running, then doing five to six days in a row is just fine. But if you're starting out running, do no more than three because you want to give your body some time to adjust yeah. and some time to rest. It's a good question. I love these running questions yeah. here. And uh, I believe you got a question uh, about what's your goal. Oh, yes. James asked James. that. So James, uh, I had two kind of goals today. One is to succeed in the new dangerous strats I'm trying out. And two for a PB. My PB is uh, one hour and 38 minutes in game time. So uh, we'll see if I can improve upon that today. Yeah. 
So it's real important that uh, Case Slugs gets enough Mumbo tokens here. Mumbo tokens are needed to transform into the different animal transformations, and he it's really optimized like getting just particular ones. So if he forgets one, there might be a backup available, but it is really important that he gets all of them uh, on his way. So this one, for example. And uh, after he enters or exits this ship, there's going to be a lot of flying shenanigans, which is really what makes this level so difficult. Um, and there will be some specific moments that we call out when they happen, but just look out for the flying. It's going to be, it's going to be hype, but it is going to be difficult. The part that stresses me out the most when he flies into the treasure chest mm -hmm. that opens and closes. I'm like, oh, yeah. he, manages, don't he manages to stay flying. Yeah. He does. He never touches the ground. Like no, no, don't eat me. <laughs> so go. wait, when you type in exclamation mark Joe, you just get banned. <laughs> you you do you do literally get banned. You literally. So he's get gonna banned. try to get the snow without landing. Nicely done. Ooh. Ooh. He's gonna he's gonna do that same type of trick several times in this level. Now we're gonna go directly to the chest, taking kind of a snaking motion. Oh, oh. keep flying. Oh. There we go. Oh, nice. Wow. How was he still flying? <laughs> it's magic. X marks the spot. There it is. Nicely done. That's that's a huge that's a huge relief for him is getting those tricks done. The note. Yeah, there's one more really difficult flying section, but having done this one is huge. There's something called the Pagoda Gap, which is a, a coin, or a turn that was coined in THPS. We're going to see him jump into this chest, jump right back out. Pagoda Gap, nicely done. Nice. Ooh, nice. nice. Smooth. Hey, here's the part from the trailer. Yeah, we're, uh, <laughs> trailer camera, right? camera clipping. <laughs> <laughs> for those that got to see the trailer for the speed runs with slugs. Got some tide pull action going here. By the way, for those that have seen the trailer for uh, this speedrunning event, the music was made by good old Deal For Real himself. He what made that he? music from scratch, so. I did. Ooh, the not no, it was really awesome. awesome. Thanks, man. So very fitting. It was first made for Squirrel Hurler, is squirrel, that? Squirrel, Squirrel Hurler indeed. Yeah, The next big, uh, the next big <laughs> uh, mobile game, unfortunately. Kind of entered a development hell, but we'll get there eventually. Hey, Metroid Dread was in development hell for quite some time. Whoa! So Metroid I, like, Dread. I don't think I'm not sure we've ever seen this camera angle before. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, 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 we're back. back. We're back. We're back. We're good. I was I was pretty worried for a second. I was like, I've never seen that no. before. Okay, he's now has a little smile on his face. He's like, yeah, yeah it's all good. it's all good. It's all good. Getting the backup mumbo token. Well, that's probably just good for safety. I don't think he usually gets that. I don't recall if he missed one earlier in this level, but it's good to have a backup mm -hmm. either way. So I think that's smart in a, in a marathon setting, especially. Or like in a race setting. Yeah. Yeah. You mean F Zero? No. Oh, this guy. We're, we're we're here with you. I know at least three of us on these couches like F Zero GX. Oh we're, yeah. Yeah. We're, yep. we're waiting. We're waiting. We're right here. We're. Uh... We're nice all, quick fall into the water. We are didn't, all sad. Didn't quite go all the way on that quick fall. If he did that properly, he could have landed directly on that honeycomb, but it's all good. He'll have opportunities to do that trick several more times. Firefox pooped out on me. Well, you're back now, and that's what matters, Jaw Davis. <laughs> We're going to try to do Nipper here. There's a strat for this, but it looks like it's going kind of poorly for him, so I hope that he can make the adjustment to... Uh, Get inside there quickly, but it's gonna be a tough one. Oh, nice! We got it. Okay, hey. you got it. Nice. Okay, cool. I'm gonna clap a little bit for that because that is a difficult trick, is uh, getting yourself situated so that you can like kill him so quickly. Ooh. So nicely done. And he's got two health. You know, he's not in immediate danger of dying. Yeah, I've seen it many times where he enters this room with one health. Good crab. Yep. Be safe about it. I agree. Nice. So, why was that in caps? What is my keyboard doing? <laughs> oh, it's called a caps lock? Joe. <laughs> hey, Ochile saying, taking only one damage there is hard to do too. That was clean. Yeah, you know, getting him getting set up in that position was a little difficult, but once he got set up, he did it clean. So, I, I think that's something to be proud of. This jump always makes me so nervous, jumping on this tree. Really? Yeah, especially when he stays in talent trot like this, and just the fact that the model is like... It's very awkward. Cool. Where is he landing? Oh, blind eggs. Into oh, Mickey. Nice. Look at him. Very just well done. Wow. off the cliff. Now that is a no-scope for the ages. We're going to end the level in that uh, kind of like scrambled letter chamber. Mm. So we'll, we'll see that again soon. 
Oh, that's same thing. All right, flying section number two. Basically, he does not want to land here um, until uh, a certain point, until he ground pounds the big red X. But in the meantime, he's going to be collecting this Jinjo, uh, collecting a couple of Jiggies. He's going to try to do a bunch of stuff without landing, so let's hope for the best. It's very difficult. Nice. Nice, very nice. I think he, he more recently adopted the strategy of like kind of angling downward and flying directly into these things. Um, because I think it's easier to do that. Oh. Oh. He, that was a miss right there, but not yeah. a not a run killer. He can go back and grab it. Um, but before he was letting himself fall slowly, and that actually proved less consistent than flying downwards into the objects. Let's go grab that. Yeah, so you, you unfortunately don't get to skip this animation, but you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. It's good intent. Clutch. More Mambo tokens. Nice. Just destroy the that chest. Gently. Just gently. No chance. <laughs> Alright, we got four more notes inside the sandcastle. Uh, he's gonna try to do a death warp here after he does the word puzzle. Uh, there's a mean looking crab in there who's uh, saying some mean words to Banjo and Kazooie right now. But he's going to try to let the crab kill him after he gets the Jiggy in midair, so that when he lands he gets killed, which will death warp him out, skip the uh, the Jiggy collecting animation. The good news is that since he does get all the notes in this level before he does that, if he were to die before he got the Jiggy, it wouldn't be the biggest deal in the world because he could still make his way back to the sandcastle gotcha. and get the Jiggy. Obviously he doesn't want to do that. He wants to you know, die when he intends to. We'll see about the setup here. Ooh. Didn't quite get the crab's too far away to kill him. Yeah, okay. But he can still at least death warp. And so now he does the second dance. Oh, he, he would have skipped, he skipped the that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But it's all good. He's still going to be ahead by just a few seconds here, going the, into uh, Clanker's Cavern. Yep. There nice. you go. Let's there go, Kevin. Go. Let's go. Still ahead. Uh, that crab is a uh, is you know kind of a meaning. We don't like the crab very much. There are some crabs I like in this game, but that is not one of them. <laughs> that is not. We'll, one. we'll see those crabs and clankers actually, the ones that I'm a fan of. Ooh, yes. Clankers. Clankers. <laughs> the sweet sounds of banjo, as I was saying. It's, it's fantastic. So many. The game is so good. Good way to start your day. Big feeling with his two crabs. <laughs> Token. Least, Least favorite, favorite level. level. Wow. wow. Do I agree with that's that? That's fair. Hmm. I think that's fair. There's a. I know that there's a lot of movement tricks here that uh, the case logs has been yeah. practicing. I mean, visually, I don't find it that appealing. So. Yeah. There's a lot of water. <laughs> yeah, no water, water in these games. The water usually, levels, water levels, levels are always, always, you know. Yeah, and we'll see that again with uh, Rusty Bucket Bay, also known as Busty Rocket uh, Bay. God love Busty Rocket. I love Busty Rocket Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Shoutouts to Z Link for that one. Their toke up here. A lot of cycles you have to make. Yeah, actually, K Slugs was just telling me about uh, the clanker running, cycle, right? The clanker, the cycle of cl clanker himself bobbing up and down in the water. So he's gonna kind of haul ass, I mean, more so than usual <laughs> for the speed run. <laughs> uh, for the first couple of minutes, trying to make it inside Clanker as quickly as possible. There was a Mumbo token he actually didn't get here. That was at the beginning of this level. So that must be why he got the Lighthouse one in uh, TTC. So he didn't have to go out of his way here. camera. Weird and weird camera. Mm. I keep telling him we need to make a command for the camera, keep track of how often it gives us problems. Haven't quite done that yet. Nicely done. And now begins the water fun. He's going to be in, in danger of drowning probably a couple times in this level. <laughs> it uh, always gets me. <laughs> hopefully, so hopefully he on doesn't. Edge. 
Here's Clanker. He's he's such a good boy. It's a shame that he is treated this way. Mm -hmm. Camera counter. Exactly. Camera has messed us up 20 times. Five million, 30 times. We're gonna go say hi to Gloop, the uh, the fish who's chilling out down here and provides us with oxygen bubbles every so often. We don't see him just yet, but he'll show up. Oh, the hell kid. Yeah. yeah. There, there he is. Hi, I'm Gloop. Gloop. Oh, that oxygen's about to make me Ooh, Oh, man. There it is. Oh, yeah, boy. Nice. All right, wow. cool. Not not as close of a call as I've seen in the past, so... <laughs> <laughs> Live my, on the edge. My blood pressure is doing okay. Swim back and forth through this key for a, Ooh, uh, to release Clanker. Tight controls. Yeah. And get the bubble. Yeah, he took kind of a long way. He's shaking his head a little bit, but that's all right. Free my child. There he goes. <laughs> Clanker scared the hell out of you as a child. For good reason. Look at those gashes on the side of uh, his body, you know? It's. Hey, man. It's not a pretty sight. <laughs> this game. Uh, hey, man, he's been through a lot. He has. <laughs> and this, this game's not shy about showing you the turmoils of each and every character. At least when they're large metal fish. So then we're nearing the part where the cycle that we've been talking about comes into effect. Uh, soon here he's going to enter Clanker by shooting out a tooth <laughs> and then entering his mouth. The poor, the poor guy. It never ends. Um, but Clanker's bobbing up and down in the water is the cycle that we were talking about. So ideally, K-Slugs can land on this platform and just shoot him right uh, there. And then jump inside. There we go. I think that's the oh, cycle wow, we wanted. Nice. There you go. Nice. Awesome. And there's gold in his gold too, so there we go. Oh, I guess the cycle is him going back in the water and yeah, coming back out. Exactly. Okay, gotcha. I can see Peter in the notes. Peter loves the crabs. The crabs are, I think, more near the end. Be these are not the crabs. I'll, I'll, oh, I will. I these will let you know. Solid. Okay. Not the crabs you're looking. Not for. all these crabs are, are the same. No. Peter. Peter's like, no. There, are, there are eight tier crabs, and then there's not eight <laughs> tier crabs. <laughs> you'll, you'll see the triple S tier crabs. Okay. Here. here we go. So here's a race to collect the rings, kind of like in Star Fox 64, one of my favorite games. Um, Kevin's personal record is finishing this with 21 seconds left on the clock. He says if he gets 22, he's still happy about that. You can see a little trick there. He landed briefly on the ring to flutter away from it so he didn't have to spend so much time in the water. Hmm. I think he might do something similar here as well. Oh, gosh. Nice. Yeah. Wow. He might have meant to jump there. I'm not actually sure. He's doing good. He's doing good. Mariba oh, by SV. Nice. nice. Thank you for the follow. 21. Nicely done. Nice. Has tied his record. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well done, Kevin. We're leaving Clanker for now, but we'll we'll come back inside and uh, hang out in his guts a little bit later. Yeah. <laughs> this part always makes me nervous as well. He's gonna do. Uh... Oh, actually, no, it's not this one. There's a point later on the opposite side of the map where he does some. Uh, I think Ratatat rap is what it's called. Uh, at a very high altitude, and it makes me a little bit nervous. Ooh, that makes me nervous Mess too. Up his guts. Mess up his guts. Mess up his guts. He's gonna try to land oh, on it. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, nice. Wow. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, getting into that ground pound pose gives you just enough distance to grab. To grab. Wow. Yeah, but that he doesn't get that all the time. I'm really glad. Banjo be grabbing with cool. his feet. <laughs> hey, look out for me. This is for sexual life. Nicely done. Oh, camera. Mm hmm. Nicely done. He has to get his uh, he has to get set up in such a way that he like falls down quickly and then immediately backflips out. So even even that little tiny thing right there is a is a is a movement trick of sorts. May or may not be the first time you're seeing this game. Well, welcome to the world of Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think James Street's ever really seen or played this game before. 
Oh, wow. man. So this might be his first time ever. That's crazy to me. Well, it, I didn't see crazy. this until college, until Kevin introduced it yeah. to me. So yeah. I did not play this as a kid. I had, like, touched the game once as a kid, but really the first time I saw anything past TTC was probably watching. James and I was just like... I played the heck out of it. Hell yeah, dude. This game was like my childhood. I didn't own an N64. I played Tui before I played Kazooie. For oh, you know what? Same, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I played Tui before Kazooie. There is a path you can take to zigzag your way through those blades without getting hurt. It looked like you got caught a little bit. Yeah, I got caught twice, yeah. Yeah. But there will be a chance for redemption later, I think. There's a lot going on in this guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's, he's a multifaceted oh, wow. individual. Yeah, I didn't play Pokemon until college. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I did beat Yellow. Getting a few golden feathers from bottles here. The Ooh. intent is for you to Whoa. use those golden feathers, Ooh. but uh, Kevin's, yeah. Kevin's too cool for golden feathers. Wow, yeah, he needs, needs him. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, you can see that pattern too. You just like zig in to grab mm -hmm. the feather and zig back out. Oh my. Or the notes, whatever that is. Oh were. my. Wow. Stress! <laughs> Nice. Hey. I think this clanker is looking pretty good so far, if I had to say. Even though this place is dirty, it's a pretty clean clanker so far. And you got a Jinjo down here. Shout out to our friend Kendall, who uh, popped into K-Slug's chat once just as he was getting this Jinjo, so we named it after her. Really? The Kenjo. Oh, nice. Yep. The Kenjo. Kenjo. I think that might be it as far as the interior of Clankers goes. He's done with Clanker completely now. I think so. This is the part that makes me nervous Ooh. is him uh, beat our Raditz hat wrapping this and then... Sometimes it's hard to get that flutter back into the little alcove. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly what makes it difficult, but I do know that it's something that takes practice. Otherwise, you're taking an undue swim. Hmm. Here are the crabs. These okay. are my favorite crabs. These, these, I love these crabs. These are the A tier yeah. crabs. Oh, yeah, he kills them by pooping, right? The S tier crabs. These are the S tier. They're, you know, they've got a hard lot in life. They're not looking quite so oh, hot. Oh, goodness, but, they're eyes. Know, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're in the, the radioactive waste room, apparently. Oh, um, man. Crab boys. Yeah. The camera here does give a lot of problems in particular. Uh, this is one of those places where we'd use that command. But he's going to try to poop some eggs and... Kill the crab, nicely done. I know a different speedrunner referred to that as a swag, so I'm I'm now extra impressed. I don't know what makes it swag exactly, but there we go. Hmm. Ninety-three. It's a good year. It was a good year indeed. We're about to finish up. Clank, <laughs> Chris is just. <laughs> it's like shut up, right? <laughs> oh, this is the part. Yeah, oh. th this is the this is the clencher right here. Oh man. Oh. When do you know? I, I can talk about how much this stresses me out now yeah. that he's not in his room. <laughs> he doesn't have to hear me and kind of stress out about it either. Yeah, you might but. still be able to hear you. He doesn't wear he's not wearing headphones, but <laughs> we'll see. So yeah, now he's gonna hot foot it back up to the honeycomb piece that sits in this oh, level. Boy. Swim. Just, just every time. Just. Every time. At least he gets all the notes, right? So it's That's not that it, bad. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's still, by his standards, it would be a reset still. Um, this is doing a marathon, I'm sure he would keep going. There nice, go. you got it. Yeah, see, we got time to spare. We were for nothing. But... <laughs> Nicely done. That's it for Clankers. Looks like he's saving about 10 seconds here. Well, hey. Nicely done. Oh, more than that, actually. I missed that. Whoa, that was very good. There might be some nice. split weirdness going on, actually. I know sometimes that happens, but really good clankers. Next up is Bubble Gloop Swamp. Another green level with lots of water, although Mr. Not Vile, Mr. Mr. Vile incoming, indeed. <laughs> Freaking crocodile! Your very first theme song. I remember last time. Kevin had some trouble with the... Uh, oh, he died to He died to Vile, yes. He did so. die to him last uh, oh, wow. speedrun night. That is rare. To his credit, that is very rare nowadays. Time for some payback. Yeah. That's right. And we'll get to see one of the advantages of Furnace Fun moves is him being able to use the speed shoes against Vile. 
Uh, whereas, oh, that's right. And then the pre-FFM days, you had to just outspeed him uh, with your bare ass feet. So. And I remember him doing that in his run, and it would yeah. just that. No, that was take, stressful. Yeah. <laughs> How recent is the FFM? It's been out for a few years. Okay. So I think like 2015 to 16 is when it started catching on or being uh, developed, I guess you could say. They haven't patched it out yet, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Rare, please don't. <laughs> Rare, please. As long as we don't plug the Ethernet into the N64, we should be fine. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. You'd be alright. There, there were a couple games that had a. Uh, had that capability, I think. In the N64? Yeah, there's like at least one that I remember seeing recently. Hmm. Oh, well. not, I would not very guess that. Yeah, it was like some sort of a RPG type of game, I think. I'm not sure. Fact checkers out there. I can't imagine you being bored right now, but if you are, go ahead and look that up and <laughs> report back. Keep your smelly feet out. Bubble Gloop also has some very tricky movement at uh, at high altitudes, which we'll be seeing. Um, there will be some times where he's jumping across some huts that are elevated really far off the land, and if you fall, then you take a lot of damage, and if you do that enough times, you of course die. You die, yeah. So uh, I'm curious to see how he handles that. Freeze easy peak, we're not going there just yet, but we're getting it ready. Mm. Get out of the way. Oh, I see in his notes that the hut jumps are the mm -hmm. next hard, hardest segment. I remember vividly last time he actually reset it because of that mm. last speedrun night. Yeah. So I guess in more ways than one, there's a lot of payback <laughs> that he's got to do with Bubble Gloop Swamp. Redemption arc? Redemption arc. Redemption, Redemption arc. arc. Here we go. Let's, this. Let's go Bubble Gloop. Snipe the croc. Nicely oh, done. Nice. Wow. I, was, I was worried for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna chase this uh, golden croc around the map, and each time he hits it, the next one's gonna be a little bit faster with the chomping pattern. If you land in this water, you take damage slowly over time, thanks to the piranhas that are in there. Does he intentionally not get that note, I assume? I assume, yes. I don't remember that specific note having a... Oh, this is where he has to watch his health. Yeah. Yeah, if he hits it, promise. Yeah, he's gonna go uh, destroy a large egg for a Jiggy uh, right here, actually, so... He doesn't look too worried. He's probably fine. Put some nice combos on this egg. Get, Ooh, get, your, com get your combo, combo counters combo. out. He didn't even touch the wow. ground until then. There we go. <laughs> Happy feet. <laughs> that ain't Kaku. It is Kazuya, though. Who needs boats? Just run across there. Oh, oh wow. Get that note. There it is, okay. It's probably the cleanest I ever seen his banjo run this far into it so far. It has been a good run. Not that good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> commentator's curse. Commentator's curse. <laughs> oh, no. We need some we need some commentator's blessings. Yeah, that's right. That's what we need. There you go. <laughs> You're good. Can't blame me now. <laughs> Even though everyone will, including the chat, if he messes up. <laughs> so Ryan had a season. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this run is good. This run is good. Man. Verified from young Sir Squatch himself. Yeah. I just can't recall seeing it this into the run. It's this clean so far. This clean. Yeah. It's very... This is the cleanest I've ever seen his run. Now we're gonna cheese some poison dart frogs into oblivion. It's gonna be fun. Look at that frame rate. Wonder Woman. Oh, that one got away. Oh, man. The one that got away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's a chase for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is... <laughs> that was not uh, ideal. Yeah, yeah. He's just like, what the... It's all right. He was it's like, right. what the hell was that frog doing? <laughs> Commentator's curse. You know, we shouldn't have said anything. Mm. Yeah. He's going to get that Jiggy later. He's going to be in crocodile form at the end of this level. And when you collect... Jiggies while you're transformed, you skip the animation. You don't dance. So it'll save him a few seconds. Here's the hut jumps. Hut jumps? Uh, this is a real clincher right here. Hut, 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 I forget hut. which one is the hardest. It might have been the one that he just did, actually. So if that's the case, hey. I am impressed because he did that so fast. He might also be going... I'm not sure if he's just going for safety or if he actually needs the jump pads in these ones. 
Wow, there we go. I think you just think he does need them. Yeah, I think he just did the hut jump really nicely. And, and making it look easy. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Nice. Yeah, unfortunate so. with the frogs down there, but uh... Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> I mean, like y'all like were saying, the, this whole run's been so clean as it is, I mean... Yeah. What that face. <laughs> just staring at you. Yeah. Big uh, you got just building a giant house with your face. <laughs> just living in it. We're matching that's cute. What's up, S Web? Good to see you. Good old Simon. You know, our match, I know, it, Simon, you would not believe it. Not coordinated or anything. We just all showed up and were like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> No way! Nope. Gotta get yourself some. Speed run with Slugs merchandising. Hope you're doing well, Sweb. It's good to see uh, all your runs on Strava, Simon. Putting some good work. <laughs> and tanks. They are so good. They're pretty great, man. <laughs> you might notice Kevin's filling with a personal electronic device. The reason for that is because uh, he's going to be taking a few notes on his phone during a memorization puzzle coming up later. Oh, that's right. It doesn't have us. That's right. Mm. Yeah. Well, normally, I think normally he types that's in. That's uh, correct. Normally he types in like Notepad on the computer. Um, yeah, he's like uh, murdering this turtle right now. Yeah. Just, all right. Yeah, Kev, uh, Simon, your observation is correct. He has he is having the cleanest run I've ever personally seen so far. So he Cox is. are done. Oh yeah, Crocs are done. Get the ginge. <laughs> to, be, to, be the sounds. to be the person in that booth just going <laughs> that's right, the gonna make this sound. So many so many of these sounds are just people getting in a booth and just going nuts. It's amazing. <laughs> Alright. Alright, time for tip top. He's gonna be conducting a little choir. Here's the choir. Here's the turf choir. Hell yeah, brother! We did a practice of camp later games this morning and the humidity Oh jeez, humidity's been so bad, I agree with you. Yeah, I know. Yep, so each time he has to memorize more and more turtles. Yeah. So I think after this one he's gonna start taking those. Yeah. I like how Banjo's on top of the yellow one. Case Slug's yellow is what we call him. Oh, oh! <laughs> he's special. Simon, I definitely got spoiled with uh, being in Colorado for three weeks. Yep. Um, running in the morning, and then my first day back here, woke up at 6.45 uh, to go to the cross-country practice that we were hosting, and boy, <laughs> I went outside and I was like, Ugh. <laughs> Welcome back. Just, <laughs> Welcome yeah, home. It was rough. <laughs> three weeks, try, uh, try three years. <laughs> it's rough coming back here. Yeah. After living there. Yeah, Simon, you saw that? Yeah, in Strava, I did the horse tooth run. It was awesome. Started the reservoir, went across the dam, went up that one awful mountain, and then went all the way back down. And so it's it's my favorite run of all time, even though that 300 feet uphill is really rough. Every time I go on, it's like this is this is a lot longer than I remember it being. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Oh, you meant to land on the, the yeah. platform. And, mm -hmm. There we go. That was very clean. Very clean turtle choir run. Got the gigs from Case Lugs. He's doing good. You him. Says the guy that ran a 5k hungover. <laughs> yeah, that was a. <laughs> that's a story. <laughs> and you won. And I won. And that's the won. worst part of it. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the worst part of the story or the best part of the story. <laughs> best, best for you, perhaps. Yeah. For sure. I don't know about the other one. Uh, the other people there. And Kevin, was, Kevin and Simon were in that same race, actually. But in Simon's defense, he ran the 10k, I believe.
and they were wondering, like, man, is Ryan going to make it? And I think I showed up like three minutes late, and I showed up at the start line right when the race is going. So I just barely made it. So yeah, that was that was a rough morning. <laughs> But I felt so much better after the run. <laughs> I bet. Especially yeah. coming in first. Yeah, the trail run. Yes, that's right, Simon. Yeah, I was uh, I was hungover for that race. <laughs> Talking about IRL speedrunning? Yeah, that's right. Video game speedrun? Yeah, I saw that chunk of wood, too. Because I won the 5K. <laughs> chunk of wood. Hey man, with lumber prices nowadays, wood is a lumber price. That's price right. Oh my gosh, they have skyrocketed the past year. Sneaky mumbo token. Is it croc time? I think it's croc time. Oh boy. So there's a random chance that instead of being transformed into the correct thing, he instead gets transformed into a washing machine, which is useless. What? And uh, after a few seconds, Mumbo will turn him back into the actual thing. I don't know exactly what the chance is. I don't see it happen too often. Here we go. We got the car. It's useless as the pumpkin. I disagree. <laughs> Respect, respectfully. I'm, I'm Respect alone for with the this pumpkin. opinion, and I will die with it. <laughs> Respect for the pumpkin. Pumpkin is at least necessary. <laughs> it is necessary. Washing machine is just a, a blight on the land. Time to visit uh, Mr. Crocodile, that uh, greedy croc. Little vile. Little vile. I'm not sure what's there bigger is, his, Mr. Uh, vile. his oh, appetite man. or his ego. So Simon, I'm probably never going to get rid of the uh, the chunk of wood trophy just because of that story. <laughs> so it's now a funny story to tell. So. I don't think I should get rid of it. So here we've got three different variations of the eating Yumblies and Grumblies minigame against Mr. Vile. Yumblies here, and Grumblies? Here the goal is just to eat more than Vile. You can see the scores in the top left and top right of the screen. Are the reds Yummies? I, f I would assume reds are Yumblies and yeah. yellows are Grumblies because of the order in which they are said and the order in which they appear. Mm. I'm not sure though. But yeah, now he's just racing to eat more. In the next race, he'll have to eat the reds while avoiding the yellows, I think. Okay. And the one yeah. after that, he'll have to alternate between eating the reds yep. and the yellows depending on what the game tells him to eat at that time. Can Vile damage him? Vile cannot damage him. Okay. I think every time you lose one of the minigames, Vile will do one point of damage to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He'll try to run you out of the... No, he'll try to run you out of the area. Yeah. And if he touches you, he'll bite you. Destroyed. There you <laughs> go. Nicely done. One out of three. Ooh, good timing. Yep, the shoot just spawned. Very nice. There's the crumbies. Don't want those. Yeah, they look mean. What? Oh, he just blocks them. He's just not eating them. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, gotcha. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you have to press B, I believe, to actually okay. eat them. Anonymous oh, my goodness. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Awesome. Thank Nicely you. Done. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Appreciate that. As wow. Always. Awesome. Save the animals. Save the, save save the, animals. the animals. It man. is happening. Yeah. <laughs> Kill the frames, save the animals. Oh, oh man, oh. Kevin's not going to believe that when he gets done with his run. <laughs> how much? <laughs> That's awesome. Anonymous donated how much? <laughs> I'm sure, I'm YouTube sure Tanks, don't know. Tanks is enjoying the croc right now. Crocs are, crocs are great, man. Save the crocs. Oh man, I remember. Has anyone else played? the Croc games for the PlayStation. Oh yeah, Croc? It was fantastic. So, oh man, I only played Croc 2 and I only went like halfway through the game because I was just so little that it, it, it was really hard for me to go through the game. Croc but, is on his ass. Staying right in front of me. Yeah. I don't remember uh, a second Croc game actually. I only played the first one. Ooh. Yeah, so now we see on the top of the screen, it's alternating between Yumblies and Grumblies. Oh, uh, it's whichever one it's, uh... Yeah. yeah, this is the one where I'd say Croc or Vile actually has a chance yeah. of beating Kev, but I, in, in the recent past, I've rarely seen it. He's nice. He's looks like he's too. doing all right right now. Nice. Yeah, nice. Come on. Switch. Yeah. Vile, yeah, do, nice. Vile does have a little bit of ability to just see the future and see where the next one's going to be. Good old rubber banding. Yeah, the rubber banding is real. Oh, he strikes back. Still not as bad as mine. Mine, vengeance. No. 
And the song's about to end. He's got a really comfy lead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we yeah, go. Swag Clean. on him, dance on him. Yeah. Nice yeah. Vile. Clean. That's a redemption tour I like to see. That yeah. nice Take that, that Vile. Yeah. <laughs> so now I think all that's left is to grab some jiggies that we left uh, sitting in the outside and then do a death warp back to the beginning, and that'll be the end of it. Wow. Then he's really ahead then. Or, oh, he's 46. Okay, I thought that was 48. No, nah, he's 44. He'll, he'll, I think he'll be ahead by a little bit. Yeah. For a second, I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, he's really ahead. Consistent pace so far. Like we've said, this run's been looking really good, and let's hope that it stays that way. Get the Jinjo as well. Chomping for the fans. Chomp for the fans. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Get a toke. You might go a little bit faster just, just while you're chomping. Just chomp Get one point damage, so now Ooh. that uh, that fly is gonna kill him after he gets his last G. jiggy. Perfect. All right, not jiggy, the note. The note. Yep. Yeah, the there notes. we go. Oh yeah, he's gonna be twenty five seconds split. ahead. Yeah. There's nice. Something, there's, there's something going on with the splits again. I know this happens sometimes. Um, it was telling him was, he was more ahead than he actually was. Um, Easy. But still, <laughs> we're doing good. Oh. Yeah, let's not mess with it right now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this guy gets on our nerves a lot. Rude. He just comes over. Man. Shockingly, he didn't kill or he didn't attack us after TTC when we were jumping up on the, the platform. Because he tends to hang out around there too. Next up is Freeze Easy Peak. Yeah. There we go. Free easy. Down, down. Free easy peak. It's free and it's easy. Nicely <laughs> <laughs> yes, done. So back in the day, uh, several years ago, we had a viewer who was watching Kev doing some speed runs, and we were in free easy peak. And this viewer was inspired to make a quick rap and post it on SoundCloud and share it with us, <laughs> where he was freestyling about free easy peak over the beat. And I don't remember any of it, but one beat part of the was song like, or just a random beat. Uh, just, just a random beat. It didn't okay. have anything to do with the music from the game, I don't think. That's but so there funny. was one part who was like, free run in it all. Oh, free easy peak. <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, we've we been saying that since then. Oh, man. It's been a good few you years. You know what's coming up? Get your wahays ready. Wahay! Oh, there he is, the man himself. I don't think we're fighting him just yet. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> There's the wahay man himself. Uh, speaking of rubber banding earlier, Boggy <laughs> is the, the <laughs> king the king swag lord of rubber banding. I love seeing this. So here we're going to chill out for a bit. In this minigame, you're supposed to protect these uh, lights from getting attacked by those chompy things. But when the chompy things are off camera, they don't exist. Oh. <laughs> so he just so has to spawn. Go over. Yeah, this is when you use the bathroom break uh, if you're needing to go. So, yeah, <laughs> we got some time to chill out. All right, so Simon, uh, Tanks for Plane is my good old friend James Free. Back down in uh, Houston, Texas. I've known James since fifth grade. So, James is a good friend of Estevan and I. And so, he is in the chat today. Nice. So that is uh, who Tanks for Plane is. We love to see the IRL friends in the chat. That's right. Nice. Clink. Illuminate that tree. It's Christmas. It's July. It's June actually. But... It's almost July. <laughs> I got I got to the Ed at any quote. Christmas uh, the Christmas in July episode. Oh, Shout out to anyone it, yes. who knows what I'm talking about. I bet yeah, I bet K Slugs does. <laughs> He's a big fan of that show. Love it's Christmas it, time. It's July. <laughs> <laughs> Looks it's like he missed Christmas, that jump, Eddie. so he's just making a quick trip back up. There we go. Oh, yeah. there we go. oh we are now closer to Through Christmas than further, then, then further away. Nice. Oh man, stinky hat. Yeah, doing some quick acrobatics for the uh, star. That's a cool trick. As oh a, wow! For the third pass of the star, you can just cheese it by backflipping, or not backflipping. Uh, oh, and he's still flying after the. Oh, that's yeah. very cool. I. I you know, I never actually noticed that, but he's yeah. still, he flying. Yeah, he's still flying. flying. What? Wow. Yeah, press those buttons. We like to press buttons here. <laughs> I like to press Peter's buttons. What? 
Damn. <laughs> Max Save Zeus, it for carrying banjo. <laughs> Save it for afterwards. <laughs> Smoking the pipe. Going down a roller coaster. Uh oh, uh -oh there he goes. Good cutscene. Nice. Get oh, the, I don't know, Bob. Uh, take that. Getting the mumbo token cracks me up because you're like, whoa! And like, <laughs> 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 Nicely done. Yeah, so there's a lot of items that uh, he isn't picking up right now because he's going to pick them up while he's racing Boggy. Uh, not quite sure what that fall damage is about. We saw him shake his head a little bit. Um, get another mumbo token. But yeah, he's leaving like Jiggies and uh, Jiggies and notes around because it's just a lot faster to pick it up. Throughout I think the this race. is yeah. the only game uh, that we're doing today that has fall damage. That's correct. That is yeah, correct. That is yeah. correct. Yes. Yep. Wow. Wow. Now Samus does have a stun fall animation if you fall too far, which slows you down. But fall, fall stun. Fall stun, yeah. It's for... THPS 1 did not have fall damage, but TH THPS 2 did. Hmm. And they probably got rid of it because they realized it was the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> In a game about jumping from great heights. Yeah. <laughs> People play that game to live the dream of skateboarding. Oh my god! Without the consequences. Without the con <laughs> yeah. Here we are incorporating fall damage in a game which is otherwise often considered the best in the entire series. Yeah. But that's another story. <laughs> so he's trying to like get the max distance on these snowmen, I believe. Wait, so people think uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 or 2 is better usually? 2. 2? Two? 2 okay. by, by far. By yeah. far? Okay. 1 was great, set the stage, 2 perfected it, added all sorts of new stuff that became... Uh, like standards in the series. Nicely done. Those snowmen are gonna come back in the last level of the game and they're gonna be way more annoying. Let's even get directly into the Nice! Whoa, Hell wow. yeah, let's go! Let's He's, go, brother! Let's go, man. No, directly into the You could tell that was difficult by the way he was popping off. That's the first yeah. real Kevin pop off I've seen all Well, well deserved. Not only is it cool, but it's also cool. I have messed up my words, never mind. <laughs> You need a Halo headshot. Oh, man, he's down to two mumbles. Those mumble tokens are really important. You need a Halo headshot. <laughs> Put the snowman kill. We don't have confetti, unfortunately. That's not a, a mod in this game yet. No grunt birthday party. Nope. We are the walrus. Goo 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 Woo! So, who turns into the walrus? Banjo, right? Yeah, yeah. Kazooie. Yeah. So we have what to happens to Kazooie? Kazooie have... just gets stuck into the backpack. She's still in the backpack. We have to assume. I mean, the backpack is <laughs> pretty much the same size it was before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or like the pumpkin. <laughs> like, what happens to Kazooie? I think they. All, I think all the transformations have the backpack. They all have so. a backpack. She's just. Chilling. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's just chilling. Ah, she's just chilling. I didn't even think about that. She's just chilling and vibing. Does the termite even have a backpack? Yeah, I know he doesn't turn to it. He yeah. doesn't turn into it, but it does have a backpack. Okay, then I guess so. Time he has always in the backpack. Two rings. All right. Yeah, so this guy rubber bands like you wouldn't believe, so, um... Get your wahaze! Get your wahaze out. There's a jiggy that we're collecting oh, out of wow, optimization. Wow, okay. This might be my favorite sound effect of the game. I find myself... The jiggies. I find myself saying this all the time when... Going around any anything really fast. Whoa! Yeah. You gotta manage this. You can't get too far ahead because like when he rubber band. when he rubber bands, it'll actually make it more difficult for you. Oh. So he's just kind of chilling, and he'll take his time getting items. It's a lot easier to catch up to Boggy than sure. you might think. So like sometimes I'll be like, "What the heck? He's so far ahead!" But it's it's really no problem. That might have been a mistake though, right there. I'm not sure how much it'll cost him. He doesn't. I don't think he's stressed worried. out though. Yeah. He, he doesn't look worried at all. No. This is another day in the office for him. Just another day. <laughs> Bog is telling come on, He's like, man. come on, what are you doing? <laughs> what, a cheeky, what a cheeky bastard. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> He's so sad. When he gets him pass. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Nice. There Easy. You go. Easy. Nice. Yeah, so you can get so much distance just uh, jumping up those slopes at the end. You can't spell free easy peak without easy. <laughs> free easy, 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 easy. Money. 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 <laughs> wow, another walrus. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> I can just throws it at you. Take it. <laughs> Imagine being so happy to see another one of your kind that you just give them your most valuable possession. 
There's going to be one more boggy race, I believe. And he might use that time to pick up some of the stray items. I was going to say that, like, the, some, a lot of the notes that he's just leaving by, I'm always just really curious. Like, man, he's going to come back around, and I'm curious how he's going to do it. Yeah. You know, there are some, it is possible to forget one note in a level or two, and it does happen sometimes. There's mm -hmm. been a few runs that have died to that, but I'm not exactly sure which ones he's leaving for later gotcha. and which ones he's actually forgetting. So, you know, I don't want to say anything in case I'm, like, getting him worked up about of course, nothing. Sure, of course, sure. Um, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Boogadaka. Sounds like uh, the Crash Bandicoot. Uh, what's his uh, name? Uh, Aku Aku. Aku Aku. Aku Aku. Aku Aku. Yeah. Aku, 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 Aku. Aku is the evil one. Yeah. He kind of has that sound like. <laughs> is the water too cold for you, Banjo? Well, like stay out then. <laughs> well, oh, stay out. Wow. Out. wow. Dang, All right. Ouch. So everyone's so rude in this level, except for the waters. <laughs> are cold as ice. Like You're as cold as ice. ice. Oh my goodness. Oh man, the He's colors, they the go feathers. with it. He's going. You just now noticed that. Yeah, time. I just noticed yeah. that actually. The notes and the colors. Ooh, nice little Now touch. this is speedrun. <laughs> now this is partners. <laughs> it's working! <laughs> Even the scarf. Well, the whole thing's a scarf. The whole but... thing, yeah. That's a big ass scarf. Oh, oh nice. Wow. Money. Camera. Yeah, that camera gets me nervous, man. Speaking of camera games, jeez, jeez. <laughs> we interrupt this speed run. <laughs> What's funny is like I'm I'm so used to seeing that as a viewer that I need someone else to like point out that it's being whack. I'm like, oh, you're right, actually. Yeah. Like I shouldn't get used to this because it's bad. <laughs> but you know what? They did the best they could. Yeah, it was a different time. To play this game with a with a free camera though, on that second stick, that'd be great. Uh, the N64 controller just, you know, a whole different beast. Yeah. It's something. Oh, we're gonna do a fun strat here, uh, where he's gonna try to, like, quick fall down to the bottom of this crater without taking fall damage. There we go. There you go. Nice! nice. Not exactly a quick fall, I might have used the wrong terminology, but I got the spirit. Here we go. Nothing like the pressure. Give those poor- their, their dad is neglecting them. We have to be the one. He's to... too busy out there just racing. He's too busy being a, a punk. He's ass. too busy giving us the what haze. <laughs> <laughs> he comes in. Well, hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> what the hey are you doing here? <laughs> right, we got a few minutes left in the split. Oh, there they are. Oh, oh, wow. Gosh, it would be so intimidating to try to route this out for the very first time. Yeah. Like, imagine yeah. being an early speedrunner for this game and being like, what's the best, the optimal route? That's all I keep like, thinking. All these things. I'm like, yeah, right? That's I keep thinking every time, like, when I, as this run's going through, I'm trying to get into, like, mental state. Like, yeah. man, if I was to pick this game up as a speedrun, just all the routes. Without, the without knowing anything, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Man. Yeah, Oof. no. I felt the same way. With Metroid Prime, because of all the sequence breaking you can do, I'm I then like, man, you can go to all these places. Mm -hmm. How on earth do you route this? Yeah. It's, and, an, it's an iterative process, that's for sure. Yeah, and luckily, <laughs> someone else did all the hard work <laughs> for me <laughs> right. for the routing process, but yeah. That's why I play easy games like Super Mario World, where there's no there's no routing involved. <laughs> just, I mean, there's just go the, to the right. There's the tiniest bit of routing. Like, which level do I go after this one? But it's it's way different than this. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, that's rough. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Yeah, you can see. Wait, what? what oh, uh, yeah, I think you got too far back. Oh, oh man! Yeah, it's, oh, it's, the, it's all good. The ice water. It's all good. Oh, he's right there. Okay, it's not yeah. that bad. It does you the courtesy at least of spawning you right there. That's good. Okay, that stinks, but... Second try is a charm. At least this time he's got some items that he's already collected. I was trying to, I was trying to realize, like, wait, this race is really different. It's like, oh wait, that's right, he's not the walrus. <laughs> he's not a walrus. Yeah. yeah. He's got the, the boost shoes. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to do this race? With... No, you're supposed to use the boost shoes, I guess. Yeah. Because they're yeah. right there. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, hey. Amy's business this time. He's a revenge arc. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, 
I was wondering once how far up the hitbox of those flags went. Like, could you jump way over That's them? That's a good and question. I think the answer is yes. They go up like infinitely, right. <laughs> so you could you know be flying and get them. Oh, nice, oh. nice oh. token. Nice jig or Very notes. Oh. Hey, you got the notes. Make it up. Oh, oh no. Oh. It's all good, homie. Keep it up. Yeah. Yeah, that's rough. Well, the good news is that up until this point, the run was looking really good. Yeah. So, no. We'll be proud of that part at least. Finishing up the rest of the hour with the power walking. Yeah. Visuals. Thanks there for you the go. thanks for uh, the kind words, man. We appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying. Baseball on radio. <laughs> and you're taking time out of your run to text us? That's just that's wonderful. Nice. Oh, no. Kazuri. Yeah. <laughs> She's very vocal. Yeah. Like it, it really makes me think about like how difficult some of these parts in, in the game are, because Kevin is a really good potential yeah. player. Hey. Imagine being a kid, <laughs> playing this for the first right. time. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So, oh, yeah. First, yeah. yeah. First time I ever played this game, I did not 100% absolutely everything. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there, there we go. go. You gotta send a message. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Hey, I'm pissed off this face. Is he? Nice. Sometimes about sending a message. Finishing up in the cave. Last time it was vile, this time it's. Yeah. So here we are in the final room of, uh, of the level. What he's gonna do here is he's gonna collect that jiggy and then there's gonna be a honeycomb that he's gonna swim through some ice water to get to. Supporting he has enough health, but I saw that he has, I think, full health actually. So I think so too. It's not a problem. You gotta wait for the camera to catch oh, up. Oh no, he does oh, not. He does oh not. shoot. Oh. oh, he's he's nervous. Oh, I can see this. Why not now? Oh, buddy. Oh, but oh, oh okay. wow. All right, oh. that was that was sick. I <laughs> was that. I was, that, <laughs> I was in the edge right there. Yeah. All right, we, we lost a good chunk of time, but you yeah, know what? Yeah, we did. Still we're, in there. We're still we're in there. Still we're in here. There. For, there's a lot of time that he can. Uh, actually, no, there's not that much time he can save on a furnace fun because he <laughs> he did it really well, right? He did really well on his PB. Yeah, actually. Um, but you know what? We're still having a great time here. That's right. We're raising money for the for the charity. That's right. Man, what's the here's the amount so far? Oh, yeah. That's good. Right <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. one sixty. Yeah. Look at that, man. Let's go. Very cool. We got his favorite level up next, Mad Monster Mansion. So even if we ended kind of on a sour note with Freezy, we got some fun stuff. We to get to look at some stained glass to. windows. We get to look at some stained glass windows. I forget what uh, the quote is for that, but <laughs> I should have pulled up the quotes actually on the. I was gonna say you get the quotes right every time, unless you have a quote sheet and you see them all. I do have. I do. Okay, have so all right. Cheat sheet. Yeah, I, I okay. Have to, I have to make it manually. You should have lied for, for a while. I, I was believing, like, man, how does he just some, some of them I have memorized from using them so yeah. much. There's like five or so that I have <laughs> memorized. I love how the music just becomes submerged whenever you get into That was the a water. Dave quote, right? That was the Dave Those quote. Those stained glass windows, Those stained though. glass windows, though. Yeah. No. But yeah, I agree, Savan. This is a great use of, like, the dynamic music. Oh, yeah. And, like, even different parts of the same level, uh, even if they're not underwater, they'll be themed differently. That's the right. Way. It all matches. It's yeah. all about the environment. What's crazy, uh, I was about to comment on this, in Treasure Trove Cove, the lighthouse hill, there's no music there. Yeah. Which is like, the one place in the game that has no music, it's very interesting. There it is. Mad Man Monster Man Mansion. Mm. Such a fun level. Mm. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna grab my keyboard in case I do want to... They have to play the marimba underwater. That sounds like cool. What's up, Seth Ever? Nice to see you.
Just <laughs> <laughs> a slack jaw ass, dude. Uh, so animated. I love it. No power at the soap store. Yeah, we had our own power difficulties pretty soon before stream started. Oh, yeah. But uh, so far, knock on wood, it's been yeah. holding up steady. We're about halfway into the run at this point. Things are looking pretty good. Halfway hype? Halfway hype. Shout out to Gobi. We'll be seeing Gobi several times throughout this run. Gobi the camel. It is indeed on at the house. Believe it or not, we have power. Yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to see us, Simon, if it... <laughs> well, we don't... We, I guess it would be possible for us to have a generator, but we do Woo. not. That'd be working real Speaking hard. Speaking of power going out, power went out in my home as well. Not All the way down in... Yeah, in spring. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Man. No, not nice. <laughs> 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 We, we take those. That's pretty cool, dude. Oh, <laughs> Cynthia's watching right now. Hey! Nice. Hi. What's up, Cynthia? How's it going, Cynthia? What's up? <laughs> oh, I hear uh, hear Dave watching the stream in the in the other room. Sweet. <laughs> I heard the. I think I think she's just waiting for her moment to comment on the stained glass mm, windows. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. Oh, that's a little unfortunate fall damage there, but shake it off. I would say, IRL, fall damage, shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> fall from 30 stories, shake it off. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, it's just a flesh wound. Just a, just a flash wound. <laughs> yeah, this level has a bunch of little nooks and crannies and rooms that you can go into. So does anyone know, like, is it like an Easter egg, the 1881? What's a? It, does anyone know the significance of that year? In I terms do not. Of banjo or the development team or rare? That's a good question. I don't know. 1881. I feel like it has to be an Easter egg. Like why? I mean, knowing knowing rare, they could have you know just been regular barrels with no year <laughs> yeah, but on them whatsoever. The but there is. We got we got James on the case here. I see. A hint. A hint Speed running Google. These are important questions. So Simon, my question was, those uh, barrels in the basement, they have the year 1881 on them. I assume it's a reference to something. It is, actually. It has to be an Easter egg, or else why would they put it on the, there? The barrels marked 1881 are a reference to the Rare Games Attic AT... Attic? Where Attic similar, Attock. Yeah. Where a similar barrel appears. appears. Hmm. Ah. So, so, why, so then why does it say 1881 in Attic Attock? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, man. The, the pot it's like one clue leads to another <laughs> right. clue which leads to you know it's we it's fitting that we have such a spooky mystery here in Madden <laughs> more like Madden mystery it's an attic attack <laughs> an yeah. attic attack reference yeah we were talking about that so so Seth Ever do you know why does it say 1881 in attic attack great name by the way attic attack mm. reminds me of Gattaca <laughs> whee whoosh whoosh <laughs> That's my favorite sound effect in the game. Just whoosh, whoosh. Just whoosh. Vandalism. Man, <laughs> that was not a very sturdy made door. Breaking, a, <laughs> breaking and entering, just and breaking an egg. And just an egg. The wood just shatters. <laughs> Those eggs are strong. Man. I don't know what she's eating to produce eggs like that. But she probably needs to drink more water. <laughs> away with words yeah. so here, here's the the infamous maze there's gonna be a ghost that's kind of like pounding his ass uh, which might be catching up to him anytime soon um, there's a honeycomb at the end of this maze that's pretty difficult uh, for him to get um, yeah he has to jump on this little hut right there and then oh shoot oh wow yeah so th this can be pretty tricky oh dang we'll, uh, we'll hope for the best and camera's it's... not helping out either yeah Gosh, this just feels like some of my Metroid Prime jumps. <laughs> there oh, there yeah, it nice. is. I've, yep. Oh boy. I've seen that take way longer, so I'm really happy to see him clutch it. Nice uh, Wonder Wing. Thank you. Here we go, Katie. SJWs, or SGWs. <laughs> <laughs> it's an easy mistake to make. <laughs> we'll take two hits. She's like burp. Uh, 
clean pots. Skelly boys. Alright, let's look up. Attack 1881. See what that's about. There's really nothing more to it. I looked into it. Really? It's just. Nah, I, I tried to look a little they, bit more. They use that year in that game, and it's just a reference to that game. Oh, got it. So we're gonna have the fun cup surfing. Well, game. that's Liz's point. Like, there's, there's no more to this mystery. <laughs> you wanted more. Yeah. Dude, I wanted the treasure. I'm like Nicolas Cage here. <laughs> Disappointed. The treasure? I was hoping, I was hoping eventually we will get to the Declaration of Independence, but... Oh, okay. It didn't go that far. Got it. <laughs> These things remind me of Umbrella Corp. You mean that we have to steal the decoration? <laughs> oh yeah, little logos in the corners there. Yeah. Or not the logos, but yeah, I know what you're saying. What's in the corner? The little corner right there, it reminds me of Umbrella Corp from uh, Resident Evil. Oh. This ghost is the Resident Evil of this room. Oh, yes. Say. Nicely done. There you go. Clean. Look at that walking ass skeleton. <laughs> All right. Hope, hope. Hopefully, someone else would understand this. But those skeletons walk the exact same way as the skeletons from Lego Star Wars. Is anyone else with me? <laughs> like, come on! Like, you were those skeleton guys. You just walk around in Lego Star Wars and kind of about, dance to them. I forgot about those skeletons. They walk the exact same way. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to call the call the lawyers. You know, both these games were developed by uh, English companies, so maybe English people really like their walking skeletons. Walking dance yeah, skeletons. Like yeah. Maybe it's a cultural thing that. All right, so 1881 attic attack came from the keys in the game. I don't know what that means, but. The keys, keys have 1881 on them. Oh, okay, got it. So why did the keys have 1881? <laughs> it's just an endless cycle, man. Oh my goodness. The keys had it because uh, in the code there was a, a junk line that was omitted that said 1881. Why? Skeletons in Lego Star Wars? Yeah. I was, Question mark. I was comparing yeah. the uh, skeletons in this game and skeletons in Lego Star Wars that kind of walk in that little funny dance fashion. Yeah. As they're chilling, they kind of oh, walk in the same way. So we're in church now. We are in church. It is we're gonna enormous. And if you haven't seen the skeletons in Lego Star Wars, then what are you doing? <laughs> then you're not you're not playing the game. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? You're not using the the extra characters. Yeah. Cheat. Or, yeah. Stop cheat. what you're doing. <laughs> no, and go get Lego no, no, Star Wars. No, 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 <laughs> stay here. Stay here. After <laughs> stay here. Donate two hundred dollars and there. <laughs> Yeah, so here we are in the famous cathedral. We've got Mott's and, as in Mozart's hand, playing the organ. We're gonna be joining them and uh, playing a little number on the on the keys with them. Um, There's another memorization puzzle. Uh, I think K Slugs has it unlocked, but he does have a chat command. I might, oh, he doesn't have the chat pulled up. I don't think. Um, I'm sure he has a way of remembering these things. So yeah, I think normally. It's intended for you to wait for the hand to play and right. you just follow along. But he's just beating to it. Yeah. Oh, that was the wrong note. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't reset, does it? No. You just keep going. Okay, good. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah, waiting for the hand to get there. Let's take it forever. Nicely done. Cool. There goes Master Hand. Bye bye. The ghost of Master. <laughs> so he's going to be doing some flying in this room, and it's going to be pretty dangerous from a falling to death perspective. So we're going to hope that that doesn't happen. He's going to probably get he's the jiggy while he's flying. flying. Yeah, reduce the lag or uh, skip the animation. I oh, the, the the dance. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. No dancing today. Nice. nice. Yeah. It's yeah, you'll see that trick a lot is him like flying up against an object mm -hmm. to grab what's ever in the middle. Um, that is kind of tricky, so GG's. There's a bunch of uh, Jiggies that are spawning in Gruntilda's lair, but he's going to get those later in the run when mm -hmm. he turns into a V. He's going to exit a level prematurely uh, while being transformed, so we'll get back and get those things later. <laughs> Watch out for Skelly Man. Much bigger one than the other ones we saw. Nice. 
Oh, Reminds wow. me of the fall damage trick in Super Mario 64. I'm not sure I'm familiar with that one. You talking about the ground pound? Yeah. At the yeah. end before you yeah, land. At the very end, yeah. 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 Can't, yeah, you cancel the fall damage that way. Yeah. Yeah, so here you do the ground pan at the beginning. Yeah, I yeah. know, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, nicely done. Good good cathedral. Paid his dues. <laughs> a normal looking door for an enormous cathedral. <laughs> Those stained glass windows, though! Those stained glass windows, though! We'll be grabbing that as a pumpkin. So once again, skip the animation. Of course. Of course! Y'all know the deal by now. It's all part of a plan. Nice. Nice clock. Very fitting. Nice clock. <laughs> clock hype. <laughs> but the clock has no hands. It's a world that time forgot. Oh no. A, a clock without hands? What? Nice. That was pretty smooth. At least has a face. <laughs> <laughs> No 1881 on the barrels, an attic attack. Okay, but the numbers themselves represent keys. The eights are the rounded ends, while the ones are the part that goes into the lock. It's the reference to the elements of keys of the game. That is the leading theory on Rare Elite. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Wow. Next thing we know, this is developed by John Adams' great great grandson. <laughs> 1881 was the name of the the number of the Freemasons. Branch. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Here that's we right. go. It's yeah. coming. It's all coming together. Captain Keys. Look. Maybe I'm just trying to come up with a reason to steal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> just, like, give me an excuse. Come right. on. Just give Ryan the excuse. He'll do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkin hype. Pumpkin hype. Pumpkin hype. Uh, so Boo. someone's not hyped about the pumpkin. I'm not hyped. <laughs> Give me five good reasons you don't like the pumpkin. What's wrong with the pumpkin? So when I <laughs> when I when Kevin had me play banjo and I first got the transformation of a pumpkin and I realized that there's no controls to it other than jumping and moving around, I'm like, what is the point? Like this is the most useless thing ever. It doesn't need a crutch. You can flush. It's you can go so, into flush. Yeah, I didn't you realize that until after a while. Dream. But I I was already really deep in my criticism of the pumpkin. I couldn't really take it back at that moment. I got to stick with it. You got to so. die on that hill. I got to die on the hill now. Eighteen eighty one is sixteen years. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> he was a sixteen president. president. Oh, we're getting somewhere. But why would <laughs> but why would English people care about Abraham Lincoln? Like, hmm. I'm sure there are reasons. So okay, so this game was developed in the UK. Yep, in England. Oh. Yeah. Mind blown. <laughs> so why would they care? Unless One they were they were behind the plot needs to not care. <laughs> One sixteenth inch between the top of a penny and a <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's all come together. Somehow this is a connection to John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> It's gonna lead to the conspiracy of the assassination of the They had they hid this oh, in boy. in Banjo Kazooie all this time. Uh, Att Attic Attack came out 16 days, 16 hours, and 16 minutes behind schedule. <laughs> <laughs> because it took them so long to code that picture. <laughs> we are reading way too much of this. Alright, get some damn. That's Good right. Damn. Get some damn. Good damn. Damn. Boom. DMG. Time for a death warp. Dizeth Wizark. <laughs> Because we call our one set piece the penny, even though it is a slang for pence. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Wow, man, <laughs> Kevin's gonna rewatch this. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice air over the, the minion there. I don't, I don't know what those things are called. All right, I'll, I'll give the pumpkin. He has some hops. Okay, he's got some hops. He's got some hops, fam. Okay, I'm looking forward to the pumpkin IPA. Guys. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> We had enough pumpkin though. We're about to we're about to rage quit because the runs has been going so poorly. I agree. It's coming up here in a few seconds. Pumpkin sucks. Pumpkin does suck. In the lower. I, I will not fall for this trick this time. I've definitely fallen for like the last two <laughs> yeah. times. The first time I was like, I won't fall for it. No! Why, Kevin? Why? No. The reset. Oh. Resetty. Young Sir Squatch redeemed. Hell yeah, brother! The British one cent is the pence. Man. 
Oh man. Yeah, so we're doing this. We're doing a reset warp to uh, a different place in Grunty's lair. Or eventually gonna have Nicholas Cage just come in <laughs> and being like. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely can't do that in Metroid Prime. <laughs> Reset. Nope. <laughs> Resetting is banned. And yeah. we will find out why uh, later That's tonight. That's right, later tonight. Tune in if you want to find out why dying or, or resetting is banned in Metroid Prime. Dying is banned. Dying, dying is, is banned. banned. It is banned. Not, not wow. only is it unoptimal, it is banned. <laughs> it is grants both. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Metroid, Metroid hype. hype. Yeah, stick around, Sheila, and you'll see some slick Metroid action. See some prime Metroid action. Some prime. Metroid. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, James. So oh, Without the duck, though. <laughs> Shrimp in my gumbo? It's more likely than you think. You mean shrimp in my goby? What? Uh. Goby's <laughs> Sorry, it didn't work. Poor goby. goby. I thought that would sound better than. <laughs> it's all right. This is our time to experiment. We have yeah. the stage. <laughs> to our own gobies, uh, K-Slug says this level is very technical and precise. There's a lot that can ruin the run here. No oh, wow. Egg count is IMPORTANT in all caps. Oh man, I vividly remember that he, with the mummy hand to get the jiggy, yeah. that he would use to jump off the sand dudes on the side yep. to get it. But now he just flies, Oh right? wow, that was we saw really him, cool. Yeah, we saw him just uh, swag on through that goby man. Run. Yeah, so he doesn't have to fly through it later. Nicely done. Oh, he landed on There was a there. lot of things happening, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's some parts where there's like three different music tracks falling. Banana Friends. Banana Friends. Banana Thank friends. you all the Friends. Welcome. Banana. Banana Friend is someone that I know, as someone who I'm good friends with, so Ooh, I'm, very nice. happy cool. to, I'm happy to see them here. This level is modeled after Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like it. Oh, so. yeah. I think he's gonna try to go for the Gobi clip here. This is something that he just uh, learned recently. He's oh shoot, to... I see it, okay. Yeah, he's gonna try to clip through and then enter this building from the inside. Oh, oh. But it's giving him some Will he bail if he's like one health left? Uh, I would assume so. We'll see. Oh yeah, I assume this has to be his last attempt or he's done now. Looks like he's bailing. It's all right, yeah. we'll get it next time. Shoot. Oh, Ooh, oh no. Yeah, that's right. The good news is, at least, it's the beginning of the level, so, uh, you know, not the biggest loss in the world. Okay. Yeah, he said that, uh, getting the Gobi Clip is difficult enough that if he gets it, we need to clap. So, okay. Oh, okay. we'll see, we'll see if he deal. tries it again, and if he does, we gotta get the applause out for you, boy. Oh yeah, clap for this one, boys. Yep. Boys with a Z. Yo! Hey. Yo. And I with the host. I thought that was the banjo music for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, man, what is this? Not, not quite. Remix. Yeah. <laughs> Remix. Thanks, man, friend, for the host. Hope you're having a good day today. I assume just might as well try again. Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you got the time. Here for the hype. Yeah. We're here for we're here for tricks and tracks and trucks. That's right. And tricks. Oh, when he starts kind of like floating like that, that's uh, yeah, that's, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh, just kicks him out to the yeah. left. He's supposed to clip through, correct? Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what what's going on here. Looks like he might just take the death. Oh no, he's gonna try it one more time. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and he fell from trying to get the egg. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so they'll just have to be careful until we get some more health, but yeah, it's all good. Did he get that clip when for this PB? I don't remember. I want to say that he did, but I, I do not remember. He can clip. He can like. Oh, he skipped the fall damage yeah. by jumping. Oh, okay. Nice. The animation. I see you, Caseless. <laughs> <laughs> I see you, Caseless. It's all good, homie. Don't sweat it. 
Well, hey, you just passed your best Whoa. note score for this level, for this world. Kevin's probably not appreciating that. I'm saying, well, hey, after what happened earlier. No. <laughs> banned. Yeah. Well, hey, is banned zero. for the rest of the run. No, no more well, hey's. Nice shot. Yeah, nice shot. Yeah, that's hard with that camera perspective. Nicely done. Don't take fall damage, please. Oh, oh nice. Hey, okay, nice. Okay, nicely done. I assume that was... He expected that. That was totally like... Uh, what's it called? It's not winging it, but it's... Foresight. Yeah, it's Spur of the moment. moment. What, what's it called? Improvising. Improvising. That's what, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, that was totally improvised. <laughs> Collaborative effort. Talk about knowledge of the game. Oh, oh nice. Nice. wow. Rise up. All rise. That's so funny. <laughs> Just recedes into the back like Homer Simpson in the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I want, where did I come from? I don't know. Bird up. Wah, 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 wah. It's for James. <laughs> I watched a bird up compilation just the other day. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Nice comb. I, it's rough once you get past the minute mark in that video. Yeah. <laughs> it's really rough. It's pretty good for the first moment, and then. Nah, dude. Then it's, the entire video is gold. Oh, <laughs> Burn up. Then it starts to challenge you, man. <laughs> you have to be a certain type of person. Yeah. So. You Your IQ has to be above a certain threshold to really understand the genius of Burn Up. <laughs> you ever have a fun little memory match puzzle? Look at the shmovement. Shmovement. <sighs> also, nice. we can get multitask the, the mummy with the tile there. Maybe that's the goal. Can you hit two tiles at once or no? Not sure. Nice weather wing. Or wonder wing. <laughs> I know there's some games where if you hit like that in-between space, you can hit both tiles. Yeah. Like Mario, I'm thinking like Mario Party. Yeah, but yeah. I wonder if the, if he flips up two that don't match, they'll, they'll flip back to their original. Oh, not now. Yeah, but I'm talking about two unflipped ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you're right. He wants to get them in order. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. So you're right. It wouldn't work. Yeah. So. Please. Right. Oh god. Oh, to the teleport right there. A clip. <laughs> there we go. Uh, who needs to say anything when the game itself is just constantly making us chuckle? I love I love Rare's use of like the little noise clips and stuff. Yeah. It's so great. Agreed. Take to the sky. <laughs> nice. Doing it as God intended for once. <laughs> Look at that Kazooie up there. Oh, is this the part where we fly into a Grabba to get the Jiggy? It might be. Here it is. Here it is. Got him. Nice. Don't, he doesn't want to land here, though. And he's still there flying. Yep, yeah. nicely done. Very good. Good shit. I remember... Oh, that's still lined up. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Kevin's very first speed run on stream. <laughs> that's what I was referencing it took earlier. so long, yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, it was, it was like painful to watch, yeah. yeah. I felt so bad for him. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I remember the old strat where he'd like run up the slope yep. behind him yep. and then jump down and steal yep. it. Oh. Booty go, booty! There we go. Skips the text. So I get to hear it. By the way, that grab a. <laughs> the grab a grab is a huge time loss. If he misses, he says it's a run killer. So. Oh, wow. What is? The grab of getting the jiggy from the hand mm -hmm. that he, he flew into earlier. Yeah. Yeah, that's a run killer if he misses, so he got it. Really? Can yeah. you just like swing back around and just pick it up? Not from a Jedi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently not, so you can check case logs getting that first try. Run remains unkilled. 
Well, I think we're past the point of resetting, so. Right. <laughs> I think we're just gonna ride or die no matter what happens. Oh, I guess if he misses, he gets hit, and then he loses the flight ability. Probably, yeah. And he has to just go all the way back. And... I've never seen it happen recently, so I don't even know. Okay. Huh. That would really suck if we kill him off, though. Pyramid's up. Pyramid up. <laughs> Get the honeycomb. I forget if he just flies through it, and it looks like he is, but yeah. Yep. I remember him there in the is. past uh, doing like kind of a running and jumping strat, but it mm. probably just wasn't consistent enough. Here's Gobi. I love this guy. We're gonna harass him. Pretty famous. I mean, the whole valley named after him. <laughs> he does look like Scooby Doo. <laughs> or Shaggy. Okay. Okay, okay Raggy. Raggy. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go speedy quick. Speedy on the quick fast. Talk about speed running. Alright, we're gonna run up to the top of the... Hey, how the time's going while well, it's... Yeah, the, yeah wow, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, come on! Uh, IGT, come on. On game timer. <laughs> hey, game timer doesn't care about cutscenes and no. stuff like that in this game, apparently. It doesn't. Oh! Ooh. I am happy to see his uh, egg management. Oh, oh nice. nice! Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Underwater, underwater. I like how they're just no walking normally in there. Like, all right. This must be heavy as hell if they're not floating up to the top of that water. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew that their uh, bodies were so uh, dense? Density <laughs> different than weight. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fact checkers. Space divided by volume. <laughs> nice. Bitch movement. Yeah. You can book him. IGN says IGN the pyramid run needs an easy mode. mode. Oh, so if I, IGN said it, must be true. Yeah. 7.8 out of 10, too much sand. <laughs> too much sand. TMS. Whoa, what are you standing on there, buddy? <laughs> I think there's still like one or two more pyramids that we have to go inside before the level's done. King Sandy Butt? Yep. <laughs> there he is. King Sandy I actually did not believe you that that was his name at first. Uh, this is Banjo Kazooie. I thought, Banjo -Kazooie. I, thought, I, thought I thought I was like, okay, <laughs> is it just a funny nickname you gave him? No, it's <laughs> legit me. King Sandy Butt. I, I want to see the lore. I want to see the prequel that takes place like 1,000 years in the past. Where we see King Sandy Bud in the flesh. Ooh, here we go. We got some science with the uh, mummy density here. Yeah. Mummies might sink though because there's no organs, so they can fill with water. Also, the cloth could absorb water. Hi. Mm -hmm. Wow. That science, <laughs> physics. <laughs> I approve. Nice quick dive. Nice. Oh, it didn't quite wow. go all the way, but it's cool. We still got most of the way there. So how does that quick dive work? It has something to do with uh, the way you position yourself on the lip, and then like, I forget which exact action it is, but there's some action you do while you fall that then like keeps your momentum going. Yeah, because I, I noticed the first couple of times he started doing it, I and I, I haven't commented on it, but like, yeah, every time it seems like he's just straight to the bottom already. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, and it's, it's one of those tricks where it can kind of work. It's not like a totally yes or no thing. Right. So even if it's not optimal, at least you got part of the way there. Get some honey. Yep. Not the bees! <laughs> oh, oh, that's fine. Oh, Gobi, your body is too angular. There we go. <laughs> I think he just like straightens himself up. <laughs> He's needs some water. Oh, I need. No, my back is straight. You gotta hydrate. <laughs> yeah, trees having backs. Well, humans do have trunks, so why can't, oh. why can't trees have backs? 
Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, you get to skip the animation. Oh, yeah, I like it. I like it. Don't body shame Gobi. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. Peter. Oh. Bas basically, right above the water, get out of Talon Trot, and the animation when you get out of Talon Trot is quick dive. He's just getting. We're just bullying him. <laughs> yeah, no, I, th I think we're done for now, though. We'll see him later. No. Spoiler and, uh, alert. Spoiler alert. And click Lockwood. Thanks for the explanation, Chile. Appreciate it. Ooh. All right, I'm guessing this is how much health he should roughly have. Yeah, he's yeah, gonna, he's gonna, gonna die. This he's gonna die. Too, yep. Okay. Very nice. He always, he always does a slow walk there. I don't know if that's just for fun. It's kind of like <laughs> the one time you don't have to be running. Yeah. All right, we lost some time there, but you know what? It's all good. We're just having right. fun here, putting on a show, showing hey, us. Hey, cool he does shit. a two twenty four. It's still a pretty good run. Yeah. And you know, it's always you know big event. The pressure's on. Yep. You want to do a little slide before getting out of Talon Trot 2 for the quick dive, says Chile. Chile. I used to be in the street right there. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. So now we're right. on to Rusty, Busty Rocket Get Bay. your Busty Steve Rockets Rockets. out. There we go, Chris. Yeah. Whoa, TOS, dude. Dude, that sounds like a cool t shirt. Busty Rocket. It's got layers. Oh! It's got layers. Let's throw some off-camera magic. Stupid, that was, was off-camera. Bust it. Bust it. Bust it. Bust it and rock it. What? So These this... rockets are busted. <laughs> These rockets are busted. <laughs> this, uh, this upcoming level, Busty Rocket Bay, Bust does it. have one of the scariest parts in the whole run, in my opinion. Oh, the engine room? The engine room, indeed. It's the first thing on the notes. And one of the first things that happens in the level, actually. Which isn't terrible, because if you die, at least, again, it's at the beginning of the level. Less sure. Sequential, but still. No. The gears. Gears of war. Keep turning. There she blows. I'm on a boot. <laughs> oh, uh, Ryan, don't put your here. Okay. Good and I have returned. What have I missed? Have I missed anything? We're about to go to Busty Rocket. All right. Bus it. Bus it. This is another level that has tons of nooks and crannies and rooms and everything. Like to the point where I feel like I would always forget what's coming up next if I were playing. The tube. <laughs> oh, I think uh, I was supposed to land up there, it. yeah. All good, just try it again. There we go. Ooh. I love how they die. Yeah. <laughs> There must be something hidden in there that he's trying to get. Or maybe he's just trying to get across to this one. Mm. It's all good, homie. Are they slugs or eels? Mm. I think eels, I would say. I don't think it would be good if K-slugs were killing slugs. <laughs> on twitch.tv slash K-slugs. Bad for Brandon. Unless K, K stands for killing. Kill. Oh, killing slugs. slugs. Kill slugs. Oh my god, exposed. We found it. Secret K-slugs lore? We, we finally know why Famous it's K-slugs. Famous YouTuber K-slugs. All along. <laughs> Here we are. Could That's be, it. Could Kevin, be anything else. Kevin, we're on to you. <laughs> we see you, man. By the way, no one speak of this. We just want him to hear this for the first time in the VOD. Be like, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, engine room. Here we go. Got some tricky platforming, but no big deal for the number one case lugs. He's going to be turning off some blades, but there will be others that he leaves on for a moment and he'll have to pass through them. Um, like this right here. He's going to set up for a very precise jump. He's going to try to get himself right in the center, pointing straight forward. Through the Cupid Shuffle. And he's through. Hey. Oh! He nice. okay, okay. Wow. Very Sheesh. Nice. He's gonna to have to do that a couple more times. Are you supposed to shut off those before you go through? I have to assume so. They're not. There's. They're definitely not expecting you to go through them. I've honestly never seen this done vanilla. So like, 
I don't know how you normally go about it. The new speedrun category to fully immerse Kevin. Into nice, the that one was clean as hell. Four dimensional oh, wow. speedrunning? <laughs> 4D speedruns? 4D speedrun. Busty Rugged Bay, we light a coal fire nearby. Flanker smells like dead fish. Kobe, we turn, Kobe, we turn up the heat. Kobe. So he's gonna be, he's gonna click go. this glass corner here. Do the running man for a bit. Find the right voxel. There we go. Ooh, Nicely done. Nice. nice and fast. Very cool. There's a switch you can hit in a very out of the way spot to slow those fans. Nice. Thanks. Good life, folks. That was a good engine room by Killing Slugs. <laughs> that was a very good engine room. I'm super happy with how that turned out. Click clock is all of the all of the 4D elements. Oh, man, this is what we need to do. Oh. What we do for Kirby Superstar? <laughs> just put you in the forest. The trees, James. <laughs> Dynablade just put a bunch of birds in there. Yeah, yeah. You got Kirby. <laughs> nice revenge put you like on an aircraft carrier yeah. or something. Yeah. Just have an industrial fan blowing. <laughs> Can't some sleep for four months between seasons. <laughs> Oily water. Milky Way wishes. We hook you up with Elon Musk. <laughs> Play in outer space. <laughs> Put on an astronaut. <laughs> oh wow. That's pretty cool. Killing slugs. <laughs> He has to run a 5k while eating a bird <laughs> Yes, I love it! Yes. And speed run at the same time. <laughs> the DDD. -D -D. That's too funny. That's <laughs> it's probably doable though. Gourmet race is really It's easy. probably the most doable yeah. part of everything that we said. Uh. get the sense now metroid prime 40 speed running you guys use your imagination i don't know how you want to pull that off of I course it goes up to peter and kevin they'll just make the room pitch black oh yeah <laughs> that's it that's the gimmick that's, that's the gimmick. gimmick they'll just make the room pitch black and just put like transparent black glass over the screen. you <laughs> <laughs> can't actually see it oh <laughs> For drawn, I just go to Colorado. <laughs> there you go. In the winter, of course. Hi. Hi. Wow, an actual English word. Are you saying this entire game has been in English? What? Oh man. Yeah, Magmore Caverns, I could feel the heat too. You could do that. Ooh. <laughs> Oof. Talent Overworld, just make it rain. <laughs> oh, jeez. What? <laughs> that's a. That's a lot wow. Of <laughs> I mean, I know Metro is inspired by Alien, but that's, a, that's taking a little too far there. That's getting weird. <laughs> that's a uh, bird screeching. Wow, that's a uh, oh man. <laughs> All right then. Well, Boy, we have the, we have the bird screeching. After, uh, we have after the seeing screeching. Prometheus in that one scene, I Ooh. I don't think I, I don't think I'm okay with this. <laughs> we have the bird screeching taken care of with Kazooie though. To be honest, we're already halfway there. You can just leave the birds in from my room. <laughs> <laughs> bird magic. Nice gauntlet slugs, slugs, baby. Chai is getting weird. Every it's prime every number time. from one to... <laughs> Shoot. Danger. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen. Ah, oh, shoot. 
29. Uh, 31. Oh, boy. I'm going to stop you there. For uh, oh, wait. No, 9 is 3 by 3. Never mind. 9 is not a prime number. Good call, Simon. I messed up. <laughs> run over. Run over. <laughs> it's a run Unplug kill. your controller. Oh, I did miss two. Aww. The tricky guys. <laughs> Nicely done, free banjo. Oh, I think it's supposed to go. Yeah, he missed it. And he's in. Oh. Hi. <laughs> What would you do for a mumbo toad? There you have to learn. No dying in this Metro Prime speedrun either, Ryan. <laughs> Easier said than done. <laughs> Tune in later to find out. Nice. There you go. Kill that slug. I can't believe that person had a slug in their bedroom. Well, maybe he didn't know. Want to become famous? Not exactly. I thought we had a... these blacklisted. And that real quick. Nice. There you go. Clutch. I work on my banning speedrun. My banning speedrun? It wasn't quite optimal, I don't think. <laughs> I had to find the mouse first, that was annoying. That's the strap, finding the mouse. <laughs> Gotta set up the mouse first. For a spun mouse. Wow, is that a map of the world? Is this the lore? Is Bend this the lore? lore? Yeah. I've never actually noticed that before, because it, it happened so quickly. All right, here's a difficult jump. He's gonna try to land in the corner here. Nice, oh, nice, very nice. I've seen, I've seen him runs into that before. Very nice. That's a big relief. Break the glass. That Ooh. I swear that sound effect is way too realistic to be in this game. Everything else is like and the, the glass is like <laughs> actual glass shattering. Yeah, literal. Just it's about to get in their car vandalized. Oh, cool. Oh, that's, that's rough. And those things take two uh, units of health instead of just one. Jeez. And you lose your air a lot faster in this scummy water. He's gonna have to save that dolphin trapped under the anchor on his way back out of here. I think here is the area. Yeah, there's a gauntlet of slugs here. He's gonna have to do some tricky maneuvering. There's a question for you. Or he might play him safe, actually. Okay. I agree with this. This is a good safe strat. All right, question for me. What's the significance of 312 and 111? That was a sequence on the the horns on the deck. Mm -hmm. Oh, are we trying to get to another conspiracy theory? Another conspiracy. Here? <laughs> yeah. Well, what's always that, like, Nintendo pattern? that they always do throughout the years. Nintendo. You know, no, no, Nintendo pattern that they do in video games. I think someone knows what I'm talking about. Where you have an option to do three things in order. It's not, it's not one, two, three, it's not three, two, one. Maybe it is. 23 three, one, is number one. Two, three, one. Is that from the- Oh, is that what the, it is? The Deku Scrubs and Ocarina of Time. Yeah, uh, correct. 23, yeah. Is, 23 number is, number one. is number one. Yeah, so that was <laughs> always a pattern that Nintendo was famous for doing. I, I never knew there was like a pattern of that pattern. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Oh, Jaws? Yeah, Ocarina of Time, yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure they 
they repeated that though in some other games, which is why it became like kind of a thing. Sounds like something Nintendo did. Yeah. <laughs> Sega does what Nintendo. Right. What Nintendo? All right. I think that was the last Jiggy. But thank you for correctly. the Ocarina of Time. I didn't know the original reference. That might not even be one. the first. That's just the only one that I know. Okay. Personally. So he's about to finish up. I think there's just a honeycomb in this room that he's going to gotcha. fly up and grab. I was wondering why he didn't uh, he didn't die from the shark, but I didn't realize the honeycomb was still left. Yeah, so I think he's going to take one more unit of damage. Oh, it's the Skyward Sword again? That's cool. Oh, nice. Maybe it's a Zelda. It's been a while since I've played Skyward yeah. Sword. So it sounds like when in doubt, and you're playing a Nintendo game, it's 2 3 1. When in doubt. Yeah, I think he's trying to get some more damage because I think he mistakenly killed that life ring mm. without taking damage from it. We'll see what he can do. Take some damage there, and I guess just get killed by this thing. Yeah. Yep. There yep. We go. There you go. Well, I'm really glad he got that jump from the boat over to that corner uh, of the fence. I know yeah. that's a really big stressful part of that. Uh, but the, the engine room was super clean too. I'm really happy with how that turned out. And having done all that, we are on to the last level in the game. Yeah. Oh, right. Let's go. Look, wood. Time to quote number 12. Click it, clock all it. Alright, so wood. I know the first part of the split stands for, you know, uh, Busty Rocket Bay, Rusty Bucket Bay. Oh, baby. Okay, that's, yep. what, that's what the last one stands B for. Yeah. I was thinking that the last one just stands for Busty Bucket. <laughs> busty Bucket. <laughs> busty Bucket. No, we, we can't say that on TV. <laughs> B R B R B B B B. Actually, it's yeah, Busty Rocket Bay or B Right Back R B B. That, that was the that was the origin was B Right Back Rusty Bucket because I had to leave while I was watching that, oh. but it happened to be during Rusty Bucket Bay. So I, I said every B, time. Yeah, so I said B R B R B B B B. So here he's doing a pretty tricky kind of blind jump up to that leaf. It's Ooh. really precise to get, but it's gonna save him some time. If you want to see some more blind jumps, there, there we go. Hey, hey, nice. okay. You're right, Metroid Prime has yeah. a lot of those. I have, it's got a lot I, of I, those. Have, I have some blind jumps. Blind jumps are jumps that uh, are not on objects that should be jumped on. <laughs> I do a lot of that. I'm ready for some bee shenanigans. Yeah, bee stuff is uh, coming. The bee stuff. Bee stuff is coming. Speaking there's the, there's your preview right there. There's your B view. Your B view. B view. Oh, indeed. <laughs> Rare shot of that minion not waving his hands wildly. <laughs> Get my hands up. There you go. Yeah, there my go. song and the butterfly fly away. Yeah, I probably should. You're next up, huh? Yeah. Yep. On deck. Oh, man. Good luck, James. Get that practice in. Try Get it. it. We were at Get Busty Rocket Bay. He's on deck. <laughs> Guys, stay tuned for Kirby Thanks. Superstar to follow after Banjo Kazooie. Yes, very it's going to be an amazing run. I look, that's the one game that I'm familiar with from actually playing myself a lot. So I'm looking forward Sweet. to seeing and commentating it. Yeah, Sweet. it's the only game besides my own that I have beaten in its entirety. I have played 80% of this game. And I have not even touched Link to the Past. <laughs> now that past. you say it, this is the only one that I have not beaten in its entirety. Is oh, Banjo. Okay. Wow. But I, but I also got very not far in Banjo. <laughs> so. Yeah. I think Clankers was where I stopped. Oh wow. Kirby hype. I agree. I agree, man. I love watching Superstar. It's just such a visually pleasing game as well. It's, it's so well done. As are, as are most of these games, actually. Yeah, yeah they're all very pretty. Part of me feels ways. like, I don't know if you feel the same way, but I see modern Kirby games, and I'm like, I almost kind of wish Nintendo goes more to the simplistic art style back in the day for Kirby games. Now, obviously people are like, why, why go back to like outdated graphics but i don't know there's just, there's just, a, there's just a charm it's you know, it's to similar the... to how i feel with pokemon because i love like it looks fine the new pokemon games look fine as far as 3d models but there's something about the sprites yeah and the old games that yeah. have a charm to it so i, I can i can kind yeah. of understand where you can so that's that's just how i feel with yeah with kirby games i saw a rom hack of crystal that added in pokemon from gen 5 and 6 and mm -hmm. like to see those pokemon in that sprite form like whoever did it does an amazing job oh the yeah. Pokemon. pokemon yeah <laughs> Oh, here's some uh, tricky bullshit oh, right yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. That's like what I do in Metro Prime right there. So here's the new upgraded slugs, now they're birds. Uh, so we have to 
Kill them birds. Kill some K-Birds. <laughs> At Pokemon. <laughs> Welcome to twitch.tv slash kbirds. Yeah. So this level, uh, last level in the game, you play the same level but during the four seasons. Mm -hmm. We'll see him traveling through all of them and he'll visit spring again at the end briefly. Bird season. Um, look at how vertical this level is. You're just climbing up and up Woo! and up and it is very scary. That's a, that's a long ways down. There's lots of like tightrope walking kind of things to do. Like even this just makes me nervous. Oh, like, and this, this jump right too. here and the camera, it's Oof. all... Yeah, uh, so it's very fun to watch and fun to play from from what Kevin says, but also difficult and scary. So this looks good, the beautiful birds. Ah, oh, the cycle, the cycle, the circle of life, the circle, the circle of life. life, birds, birds, of course. Yeah, and there's also a lot of lag that he has to deal with just from there being so many objects and textures on the screen. Um, so there will be some inopportune <laughs> lag moments here. But here we're gonna free our bird. Here he a beautiful is. bird child. He is. We're gonna we're gonna see Beyond. we're gonna see them grow up into a beautiful bird, okay. like an eagle. An eagle, yes. It just poops out. <laughs> Another fun fact. Oh, oh, oh wow! Yeah. Not intended, but it's okay. We we'll take those. Uh, <laughs> this mm -hmm. level, uh, the music in this level is the first track composed for the game. Wow. Yep. The song is a banger. It is a banger. There's something about it to where, to me, it sounds like the first track written for the game. Now that I know hmm. about it, I couldn't tell you what it is. I, despite being the the music person, I, I couldn't exactly tell you what. Do it is, you think but. they developed the track, not even knowing the name of the stage or what the stage would even be? Just, just he, generically. Grant, Grant Kirkhope, the composer, said something about that. I don't remember what he said. I don't want to presume anything, but okay. he did give insight onto like the the timeline of okay. exactly when it came about. Because it could be a track where it's like, hey, we're making this Banjo Kazooie game, start making us some music, yeah. and he maybe made that song without knowing where it would fit in. I think that's what happened. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're still behind on time, of course, because we had some unfortunate time losses, but he is gaining time. We can see that from the, the light red split. It's not the dark red, which means he's losing time, so we're still, we're still in this. Eek. We're gonna see a cool uh, trick in this level. We're gonna see him. Clip Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Made the level to fit to the music. That's I, wouldn't think, I wouldn't think many game design, designers would probably do that. I think there are some examples of like the music and the game being really tightly interwoven like that. Yeah. Uh, like modern, some modern games I might be able to think of, but I would, I'd be kind of surprised, but pleasantly surprised if that were the case for yeah. this game. The bees. the bees. That's so funny. This is not the bee stuff we're looking for. <laughs> this is a. Y'all here for some bee stuff? Y'all here for some bee stuff? I want some bee massacre. <laughs> Guitar Hero does the music first, that is true. <laughs> what if you wrote music specifically for Guitar Hero? Though? That'd be cool. Ooh. I mean. Bravo. Yeah, that's a. Oh, here we go. Nice fall. Good strap. Very cool. There's Gobi. There He's he back. is. He's back. Say so eat for distance and Gobi for accuracy. Killer riffs. For some crops. It's Flagra. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Spoil Dude, spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Are the sunbeams down? Are they down? Yeah. Get them up. <laughs> oh, they need to be up? No, they need to be down, right? No, they, when they're down with the sun, you knock them back up. Okay. So they're not shining on the Flagra. Okay. Yeah. So you actually gotta hit them up, actually. The Cadence games do the music first for the Necromancer. I, Necro I, that's Dancer. a good point. I played uh, the Zelda Cadence of Hyrule. That game is really fun. I definitely recommend it. That's one of the, that's one of the Switch games that I, I still need to pick up. Yeah. Um, not, inc fat fever. not including Skyward Sword that's coming out here soon. That will that'll complete the Zelda games that I have. Nice. It looks fun. Are you a Zelda collector? Um, as of right now, yes. I have been collecting <laughs> most, of, most of the Zelda games and the Amiibos and everything. And I just recently started collecting all the Switch IPs and um, just games that I feel like deserve to be on the Switch primarily. So I've got yeah. like close to 40 hard copies. You got 36. Right 36. Game 36. close. Game close. He's got a lot of Switch games. Nice. Yeah. 
Chris is like, I'm just fucked up. <laughs> my, my brother uh, got really into... He got the Switch fairly recently, like maybe a year and a half ago, and he got really into collecting the physical games. And he got like a pretty large, I don't want to say exactly, but like he got a large number in a very short amount of time. He was like, dude, this is my, this is my new passion. There's, there's <laughs> a charm about them, and yeah. I, really, I really enjoyed them. Yeah, and he got into like a, like the scene of collectors, and he was like talking with people about like getting limited runs of things. And oh, like, yeah, limited runs got yeah. some really and cool even, stuff. He even like got pretty far into the process of like creating his own uh, publishing company. Like to get physicals for the Switch manufactured. Oh wow! Unfortunately, that kind of died in the water. Huh. Um, but like it was, it was a really cool thing that uh, he learned a lot about that whole process and everything. Mm. So yeah, the one physical copy I, I really want to pick up is uh, Bayonetta one and two collection collection mm. edition that came out. I think it was only in Japan, and it came and it comes with the physical copy of Bayonetta one, which in the which in the West is only available digital. So it's pretty it's pretty nifty little collection. All, all this like climbing on these catwalks and stuff just makes me so nervous. <laughs> oh, oh no. no! Yeah, but that's exactly why. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, it's uh... that's rough. Well, it's all good. We'll get back up to it. Just go get out of the bees. <laughs> yeah. There's not the bees we're looking More for. More bee stuff. There's so many bees in this game. <laughs> Different flavors. I'm sure they're not all bees, but you know. <laughs> back checkers. Well, they're around the. The honey containers, right? So it has to be bees. Well, those ones are bees, but the ones that were in the hive that he was, oh, that were taking, those are probably wasps or hornets or something. But was that in the honeycomb, though? You're right. So it's probably bees. Mm. Mm. Good point, good point. They're very thin bees. They're not the, the chunky boys that we're used <laughs> the, to. I love seeing bubble bees in real life. <laughs> they just make me chuckle. They just <laughs> buzz around, they're so fat. <laughs> they make chunkster. me chuckle. chunkster. Well, nature works in mysterious ways. Yeah, right. I mean, how are you flying with that it's body? Like, it reminds me of the quote of uh, the Bean movie, the beginning of the movie. Oh gosh, here you go. <laughs> By all laws of physics, something like Carpenter that. bees are extra thick. I need, thick. To, I need to look at these. Extra thick. I need to look at these in Simon. There Tracker we go. Jackets. There we go. Poop on them. The disrespect. <laughs> Bird stuff. You gotta feed this guy some worms so he grows up to be big and strong. Honestly, one of my favorite parts of watching this run is seeing seeing this baby grow up. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really touching. Okay, carpenter bees aren't quite as chunky as Bumble, but they do have a little bit of chunk to them. Not quite as furry too, but... Back to sleep the goat. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Give me a few worms now, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, there's a direct. There's a the first picture. If you look at Carpenter Bees, is a side by side comparison of Carpenter Bees and Bumblebees. It's <laughs> funny. Get some health. Get out of there. Simon's going to get a thick woman <laughs> as thick as a Carpenter Bee. <laughs> there's a split. It's all good, man. It's not the ideal run, but you know what? We're having a good time out here. That's a great time. We hope oh, you're yeah. having a good time too. Playing the game that we know and love and cherish. Oh, this is honest. This is so entertaining. Watching this. Could find the thick bees on Bumble. That's true. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's awesome. Actually, <laughs> that's that's an app I haven't heard about in a long time. Oh. I hear it's all about Hinge nowadays. But that's what all the the millennials are using. I think. Hmm. I don't know about the the youngsters out there. The youngsters. This is very pretty. I love looking at just the auto bees. bees. What's up, bee? So we're going to look uh, at the end of the level, he's going to do a cool clip that we're going to look forward to. Um, and these splits are all pretty short in CCW, so he, we might be seeing that soon. They're going to rob Mumbo's house for a sec, though. <laughs> of course. Classic. Almost do your stuff. He's doing some cleaning. We don't care about what he says. We're going to skip that shit. Um, yeah, I think Mumbo is only active during the spring. That's the only time he can turn you into a bee. The rest of the time he's just hanging out. Where's the room? There, there isn't, isn't any. any <laughs> there isn't any SEC football. <laughs> there, I'm sure there's a. I'm sure there's some association football. You know, what what we plebeians call soccer. <laughs> given that this is a uh, English game. 
<laughs> Friday night. Friday. <laughs> this is a weird. This is a weird uh, collaboration. Are you trying to get the notes through the? Oh. Yeah, he's extending oh, his hitbox. Cool. Yeah. I'm guessing that's just faster than just going up there. Yeah. It doesn't. I, it doesn't seem like it to me though. Like, yeah. I have hard time. It must be like such a small optimization. Normal force. There we go, Simon. Yeah. I respect that. I'm a physics teacher. Normal meaning perpendicular, right? It is a like, perpendicular contact force that prevents you from going through solid objects. That's correct. Nice. I wouldn't know this. <laughs> <laughs> It's called the force under your butt, keeping you up on this couch. Oh, great. <laughs> That's what's... Well, as long as it's doing its job. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Hashtag well, thank you, perpendicular. What if I push on this wall? Oh, it's going to be perpendicular to your hand, so it's going to push out that way. Oh, Whoa. my goodness. Whoa. Oh. Will that also be a normal force? That's right. right, man. That's right. What about abnormal force? That's what we mean. It sounds like BDS. <laughs> what does that stand for? Uh, it's basically kinky stuff. Uh-oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> I won't get into the details right now. <laughs> what does that stand? Because I'm a little naive. That's okay. <laughs> this just can't be painful. Yeah, he's wanting to. We saw him using the golden feathers earlier to avoid damage from those Venus flytraps. In winter time, that's going to be a really big component of the run is managing those feathers. I don't know exactly how many he needs, but I know that he's keeping a close eye on that number. Go visit the the bees again. They're sleeping this time. When are we playing tennis? Oh shoot, Josh, yeah, we should play some tennis. Um, do you live in the Houston area? I think that's Brandon. That's Brandon. Oh, it is Brandon. Yeah, Youngster Squatch. I don't know why I thought it was Ouch, Josh. exposed. I'm sorry. Exposed. I'm sorry, squash. Brandon, I forgot that was your name. Damn. The truth comes out on speedrun. Uh, I speed forgot, run I keep forgetting that every time. The, the Squatch and Squash thing though, I, I see where the confusion comes from. Oh, this bee is a... Or a dragonfly is a. Didn't breaker. his name though appear earlier? No, it's, I think it's always been. Uh, it, I Brandon. saw Brandon's story like earlier. Oh, that's because he donated. It was a separate. Oh, a separate that's thing. what it was. Okay. Yeah. Horrible. 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 I'm sorry, Horrible. Brandon. Oh no. Man, man. This game ends friendships, but not in the ways <laughs> you. Not how you. I expect. always forget every time. I don't know why. <laughs> I just can't. I just don't connect youngster squats with Brandon. Yes, Brandon, we need to play some tennis. I think this week, actually. Cancel the tennis. We're done. That's it. <laughs> Ten tennis is canceled. <laughs> oh no! Ryan's been canceled. Oh. Uh, There's an acorn floating there. What you gonna do about it? Make a make a scary jump down to the below. Yep. Ooh, ooh. Oh, ooh there it is. There, there, there's some parts here in fall, like where he's edging just so close. Oh, this scares me oh, right gosh. here. This is the one. The frames. <laughs> oh! Oh, no. oh, oh man. <laughs> yeah. Oh jeez. <laughs> Oh jeez, Rick. Oh look, it's Conquer. Conquer? Wimbledon will be devastated. Wimbledon, uh, <laughs> I, US I Open, love, Australia. I love me some Conquer, Conquer man. Can cancel the Grand Slam, it's all over. Give him his nuts. You're man. nuts! No, oh, no, I'm not playing for that Simon. He's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he runs in a circle just to be cool. Does <laughs> it go the wrong way? He's nesting like a dog. There we go. Open up the Winter Palace. No, Conquer 4D run. Oh no. Isn't that the big pile of poop? I've never Jeez. seen that. Yeah. I'm still waiting for Squirrel Hurler to join the club, man. I joined that waiting list years ago and there's been not a, not a peep since. Yeah, you've played Conquer, haven't you? No, I've seen it though. I I've never played it. Wow. I didn't own this in '64. <laughs> Besides, do you really think my parents were letting me get that game back then? No way. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
like one. It's like I think Conquer is like one of the Cynthia's favorite games that I. She likes. She likes to watch me play. It's so funny. Hey, look at him go! Go getting big and strong. <laughs> Even from Chicago is raiding with a party of six. Whoa, Yo, we're getting man. raided already. Already, it's so we early. We talked about this. In part, right? in part, we get raided. Yeah, Ethan might actually be the the guy I was talking to you about. Ethan's a very cool guy. Shout out to Ethan from Colorado. I don't think we have a shout out command on the channel, but uh, Ethan from Chicago, very cool friend of the stream. You should definitely follow him if you like Nintendo games. Mm. Does Mario Kart? Mm. He was probably playing Mario Kart with the homies just now. That's nice. cool. Joining us. Love me some Mario Kart. Yeah. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with the viewers. Oh, yeah. The friends. Chris some Mario Kart. That's for sure. Thanks for the raid, Ethan. Really appreciate it. Uh, so, there to all go. the new viewers, uh, we are uh, <laughs> we are not K-Slugs. K-Slugs right now is playing Banjo-Kazooie as we see. He's oh, he's trying, to clip, right he's trying to clip here. He's, he's clipping into a ramp. He's trying to exit the level. Let's actually watch this for a sec. He says it's difficult, but very cool. Oh, there's that pose. There oh. we go. Yeah. Nice. Whoa. It's going to warp him out to the, to the main lobby. So yeah, uh, welcome to Speedruns with Slugs. This is a like four time a year, three time a year event that we like to do here. Uh, we got some of our friends on the couch and some other friends practicing. How's it going? Speedrunning some games. Um, I'm Dio for real. If you're coming from Ethan's stream, you might know me because I've been on his stream a few times. Uh, in the I see flesh. I see Truffle, our Quint, and uh, Chippy in the chat. Nice to see y'all. Marley's game. Thank you for joining the raid as well. Uh, what we're doing here today, we're not only speedrunning games, we're also raising money for an animal shelter that is near and dear to our hearts. If you see that in the middle, type Save exclamation point charity. I might actually do that myself. Ooh, there you go. And uh, we've already raised some money, so thank you very much to those people who have already donated. We really appreciate that. It's a cause that is uh, very close to us personally. There we go. There's a link right there in the chat. If you all are interested... Bee stuff. I like it's actually bee stuff in the notes. I'm actually pretty excited to pick up Mario Golf when I go home and have it ready for me, so. Yeah. Well, we'll see if you like it uh, later today if we have time to play it. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, nonetheless, it'll be a game I'll be collecting, but. You gotcha. It, it, looks, it, look, it looks chaotic fun, actually, for being <laughs> Mario Golf. That's cool. I, I haven't seen any footage of it, so. Or any, like, I'm not really familiar with Mario Golf, besides the fact that it's golf. Right. Um, so uh, in winter, back to the game. In winter, uh, feather management. I was talking about. Um, I think actually I was misreading. I was, I thought he meant invincibility feathers, but I think he actually means red feathers is what he's looking out for, like for flying. Oh, okay. He says there's a difficult flying segment. He's gonna have to take out some snowmen as well. Um, They're back, like you said. They are back. Yep. Brandon, those are some wise words. <laughs> Seth is a <laughs> zoomer. Speaking of zoomers, Metroid Prime. If you want to see some Zoomers get blasted in the face, <laughs> tune, in, tune in later tonight. Tune, tune, in to, tune in to a website. Not the Zoomers that you think I'm talking about. A website but... that we should not repeat on stream, probably. Check out check out this beautiful child of ours. Oh, yeah. um, finally a grown adult. Wow, look at that. F leaving the nest. <laughs> How, poops what a gift. How'd you get that, you know? Uh, he's gonna try to collect this without landing. It's gonna be rough. Oh wow, that's an awkward angle. Yeah. There. Let's see, you got it. Slow fall. It's always hard though. There we go. Hey, nice good job. Nice, nice, good stuff. Yeah. He needs to do some clipping through an object while uh, while avoiding snowballs from the snowman. It's it's not optimal to go after the snowman. Uh, so he's gonna try to just survive and not get hit. Choosing to land here. Truffle, uh, Quint, thanks for the follow. Really appreciate that. Someone redeemed Hell Yeah, brother. Hell oh, yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. Uh, he had a land right there, it Someone seems. Bella. Someone Bella. Uh, she is, uh, well. I might have to refund you your points. I've never done that before, actually. I don't know how to do it. Uh, Gotta go to Grandma's. <laughs> yeah, gonna have to go to Grandma's house to, to see Bella. She is not here today because it would be too chaotic for her. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Summon Bella, get the picture. Get the picture. Damn. Maybe, maybe Yo, I'll see thanks you. Thanks for raising me from birth. Here's a puzzle piece. <laughs> Simon, I'll see about getting you that refund uh, maybe while we're in between runs. I'll write a note to myself. Hey! Yo, hey, hey $5. Nice. Thanks for the donation. Awesome. Yeah. Appreciate Great. that very much. Save the animals. Save the animals. 
<laughs> I love that. <laughs> that is funny. Jeez, jeez. Simon is S Web 22. Refund 1k points. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Nice kid. Yeah. Nice little yeah. Hell yeah. I'll, I'll clap for that. Yeah, that's there you go. Cool. Yep. That's one big beaver. I don't usually get visitors in winter. Winter? I hardly know her. <laughs> so to leave this level, he's gonna clip through uh, this vertex here beneath the ice. We're kind of like the slope and the ice join. This is tricky, but not that tricky. Oh. He gets it most of the time. Nicely done. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so actually that was the that was the backup. Thank you, Salty wow. Hippo. Nice. Oh, the 20. Really Dude, price Salty is Hippo. Right. Look at that. We got shoutouts there. Ryan and Peter do Price is Right on GFF. What is GFF? I don't know what GFF, GFF. stands for. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Please explain. <laughs> we do the Price is Right. <laughs> price is Right. Uh, yeah, so actually that swimming was a backup Grunty strat. Grunty Final Fight. Um, Grunty Final. Maybe, maybe that is what it is. Yeah. No, I think it's next split, right? Uh, yes. Gordon. Oh, actually, no, this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> I, I do want to say quickly, uh, before we get too caught up, that um, him swing through that, like the clip through the ice was a backup strat for a different way to exit the level. Uh, ideally, in that in the house where the beaver was, he would have clipped through the fireplace and okay. exited the level by going out of bounds, um, like he did earlier in one of the earlier segments of Click Clock. Um, so unfortunately, I had to do the backup strat, but backup strat is still a cool glitch. So okay, you like to see it. Grunty's furnace. B stuff. B stuff. B stuff. Get your B game. B list celebrities. Now that's a bumblebee. So this is like the most objectively useful <laughs> ability in the entire oh game because you can just do this. Oh my goodness! It is you nuts. Get the gem. Yep. The Venus fly traps apparently don't care about bees. Apparently mm. not. Counterintuitive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what else are they going to eat? Sure. I'm waiting for a, a bear and his bird in the backpack to come along. <laughs> oh, it's a bee? Ah, oh, nah. Alright, there's our 10 jiggies. I don't know what all the buzz is about. Beyonce. Clip out? No. Clip out. Yeah, he's going to be clipping through a lot of shit coming up. That's, yeah, the, whole, yeah. that's the whole fun. That's the way to fun. keep the, the bee going. Yep. Oh, furnace fun is the next clip. Yeah. yeah. I think we saved a little bit of time somewhere in the split as well, so uh, right. nicely done. Getting it back slowly but surely. Uh, here. Do that. There we go. Oh man, I remember that first time he tried so to do that. Cool. Wow, look at yeah. that. Look at him go. There's gonna be a clip coming up that's very scary because he's gonna, gonna have to clip through a note door. This might be the one right here. If he clips incorrectly, he might uh, get spawned somewhere else and be uh, run killed. But we are still, you know, it's a marathon it. setting, so he might just keep going anyway. But this is a really difficult part right here, going out of bounds in this way. I think he made it. Nice. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, Kevin. Yep. Nice. He's still the B. Yeah, so now he has to go back through Grunchy's lair, get all these jiggies that he skipped <laughs> while he was. <laughs> while he was <laughs> every uh, time he appeared, just, yeah. the whole couch just goes. Does the game just handle every clip by throwing you out of level? No, there are some clips. Like, you can clip into a sub level within a level. Um, like, earlier in Gobi's Valley, that was attempted and fortunately did not work. Um, he clipped into the sub level in Click Lock Wood earlier. He just clipped. Yeah, he just goes through all the things in yeah. Grunty's Lair. And That's so cool. Just picks him up with the bee. Yeah. Yeah, the bee has a really long nose, proboscis, if you will, which can pick up <laughs> some of the jiggies. So, like, right here, he's going to get another one just, just by Lucas's of the nose. Come on down. Come on down for, for the, the price, price is right. I've never actually seen that show, so I don't know like the cadence of the. Oh man. So I think he's gonna try to get this gin or this jiggy without. There we go. Uh, an older method involved going into the eyeball, mm. but then you'd get stuck in there for a long time, and getting out was scary. So it was like we call. I think they called it the eye prison, oh, <laughs> no. or something. But you can just skip it now. There's a jiggy in there. Yeah. Look at that nose. <laughs> Peter. Come on down for you mm -hmm. to try your chance to win a brand new I, car. I jail. There we go. That's what it's called. Thanks, Julie. Oh, and 
That's 10. There we go. All right. Time for Grunty's Furnace Fun. Thank you, the best bean. Supporting the stream while putting oh, together your living room furniture. There we go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for watching, Best Bean. Appreciate it. Best Bean is uh, Olivia, uh, one that was moved in. Oh, uh, sweet! There we go. Yep. Nice. Let's go, Kev. Finish strong. Wow, this this has gone by so quick. Mm. It feels like ten minutes ago that we were at one forty, and now we're already at two twenty. <laughs> Here we go. Granny's Furnace Fun. So, uh, you know shit's getting real when his first note starts off with CRAZY in all caps. Um, <laughs> so there's a way to skip pretty much this entire puzzle. It's very difficult. Uh, it will involve answering a few of these trivia questions. That oh, one he's got a question that yeah, he was he, not sure about. He was mentioning about a one that was very tricky that could end it. Yeah, yeah, some RNG here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, he, has to, he has to answer a few questions correctly. There will be a point where he has to uh, glitch onto a death square in such a way that he will be able to skip most of the most of the puzzle. Here's the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't watch it. The production quality. <laughs> Mad boss. <laughs> Actually, <a> sound. <laughs> All right, so after this question, he's going to, uh, well, I'll explain it once he's actually doing it. So he's going to try to get into Talon Trot on the exact same frame that he gets this death square. He's hoping that the death square will be, um, will be a certain question that Ooh. he'll be able to get wrong. Did he get it? Yeah, he got it. Oh, nice. That's really fast. Uh-oh. Nice. Oh, but uh -oh. it's a grunting oh. question. This sucks. He has to hopefully get it wrong. Oh, he got it right. Oh, yeah, he got it right. Oh. Crap. I don't know what he yeah, does now. Yeah, it happens. I thought he might just be able to die here, but maybe that is not... Man, that's... That's that's that, That's an insane RNG. It was uh, yeah. right at the end, too. Yeah, those grunty questions. What was that uh, question? So there are some questions that have to do with Gruntilda herself and like her past and stuff. Like, what was? Oh, favorite? he just doesn't know. Yeah, well, there's ways you can find out, which involve finding her sister who's elsewhere sure. in there. Sure. Yeah. But they skip that because it's unlikely. Oh, here's the back of Death Square. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't realize you could do this on more. I've never seen this done on other. I've never. Oh, here okay, you go. Nice. Set up. Okay, so he can get this question yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, he can get this one wrong. Okay, and thanks Chile for uh, mentioning that. I didn't realize. Okay. So now, now the, the square would kill him and send him off, but since he's in Taltron, he lives and he can just skip the rest of the level. Gotcha. So. Yeah. All right, nice, nice. All right, so it's actually not that bad that there's a backup one. So. Yeah. Nice. You still save time. That's yeah, good. Yeah, I see Kevin with a thumbs up. Smiling, yeah. smiling. Stop. Let's go, Kev. Finish strong. Hype. Wow. He, he saved two minutes. So his PB, he had to struggle there in first spot. I think it might be, I still think it might be comparing the wrong splits or something, because his PB, he got that trick very quickly, he didn't, he didn't have huh. to do the backup, so I'm not sure what's going on with splits, um, but still clutch that he got the backup strat. And we're off to fight Gruntilda herself. Gruntilda herself. Gruntilda the Hun. Skips the long cutscene as well. Good point, Seth. All the mags. All the mags. Max eggs. And away we go. All right, so Grunty fight. Uh, he's going to basically lay an egg trap for Grunty for her to just fly into them. Uh, but he is in risk of falling off a level. Hopefully that doesn't happen. You can avoid damage by being in the recoil from the, the ground pound animation. So he's gonna be doing that a lot to avoid projectiles and things like that. See that he was like yeah. in that animation still. So he's gonna spend some time shooting Grunty on the ground, but then there's gonna be a flying segment, which is quite tricky. That'll probably be like mm -hmm. one of the more difficult parts of this fight. All legged up on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> He's already used a quarter of his eggs. Yeah. Shoot. It's a good thing that uh, 
You right can before. Fill, fill up all the zigs, right? Yeah. 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 Nice shot. Very nice. I'm gonna get in position for that flight pad to be there. It is. Yeah, yeah this is damage. it. All right, so I think he has to hit her three or four times. I think it's four. Oh, that's Ooh, important. Ooh, not playing that. Yeah, Firefox too close to the ledge on that one. <laughs> good shot. Nice, good angle. Nice. Just, just don't miss your weight land on stage. Was it three times, right? Uh, I think it's three or four. Um, <laughs> Spirit bomb. bomb, Simon. So we're, we're one so far, right? One hit. I think so, yeah. There's two. That's two. Nice. He says it gets easier each time. Maybe because she Ooh, starts shooting, so mm -hmm. there's three. Yeah, so she starts getting more aggressive, so she's like, she's, yeah. you know, lined That's up. four. How many That's is it? That's it. Yeah, he's flying down to get the honeycomb. That means he's done. Okay. Nice. That was really good flying. He only had one one mistake, or maybe two, but... Yeah, he missed, I think, one for sure. He got hit once, and then he missed one shot. Yeah. But overall, that's really good. Those segments going to get drawn out really easily. Banjo the... Banjo the, the Kami Caves. Here come the Jinjo statues. He needs to fill those with eggs to free the Jinjos. That's right. To move on. I'll smash. Jinjo! That's right. Nice. Trivial. Jinjo. He had to get in position right away to be able to do that so quick. Alright, so after this we got the final large Jinjo. Jinjo's bizarre adventure. <laughs> They've been through a lot, that's for sure. Nice. Everything's a JoJo reference. Hmm. Jinjo. I love the low voice. Yeah. We'll hear that once the timer is stopped. Ooh. This part is She is just going at it. She is swinging. I don't think there's any real danger of dying here unless the rest of the fight is going horribly, so by this point he's pretty safe. Right. You can see a lot of health to give up. Yeah. You can also just wonder wing it. That's it. There it is. Nice. Hey. GG's. Jinjo. Way to power, power through, through. indeed. Yeah. yeah, no kidding. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You did it. Figure what out. What? The split thing? What was the issue? Oh. Yeah, it does that. It does that, yeah. Woo! Woo! There he is! Hey, hey. it's another round of applause next year, yeah! Stop, man. Get on the camera, not on the camera yet. Hey. The people deserve to see the <laughs> Oh, we gotta see Melvin <laughs> Girl. You can see Melon Girl. You can see Melon Girl. Switch to the couch camera there when Melon Girl pops up and you need to switch <laughs> over. What happened? Huh? Heard just joking around about Melon Girl. You got some hype donations while you were doing look that? At, yeah, look, look, look at that. Oh shit! I know! I told <laughs> you! Yeah. Damn! Okay. Thanks everyone. Yeah. Hag. Got yeah. some follows as under well. Under 230 is so good. Yeah, that, that was my goal, is to get under 230. I mean, I know... We had some very, very unfortunate stuff. The, the right thing you now. warned us about yesterday, yeah. about the RNG with the uh, yeah. penalty question. Yeah. It happened. I had to guess on that one. And you have to guess right. Yep. <laughs> Why couldn't you do that in high school? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were, we were saying that you might have heard us. The, the first part of the run was looking super fresh. It was oh, it was the cleanest oh, yeah. I've ever seen. That whole first part. Yeah, it was looking good. I was. Pretty, I was feeling pretty good. Um, it was until free easy, free easy with Boggy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Boggy kind of got me. Um, we lost all of our time, I guess. 
And then after that, it kind of just, things yeah. just weren't going right. It happens, yeah. you know, with this game especially. Yeah. Melon girl? <laughs> I kind of just leave her under a rock. Oh yeah, <laughs> for Tui. Well, there's Melon Girl. There she is. <laughs> I hope you learned a few things about speedrunning banjo. Yeah, we had a wonderful nose to go off. We did. Yeah, I think you get a kick out of listening to our commentary. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I could hear bits and pieces, but for the most part, I couldn't really. Could hear. you hear when we were like cheering for you? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if you would like that or not. So I just. I did actually. Whenever I got something right, it was really nice to like. Okay. You know, nice. Awesome. Anyway, next up we got Rotor with Kirby Woo! Superstar. Rotor! Right yeah! So, so stick around with that. We're gonna get set up. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll take a short break and we'll be right back with Kirby Superstar. Don't go anywhere because you don't want to miss this run. It is hype. Yeah, We're just getting very started. Hyped. Very really hyped. Good <laughs> Today is just getting started. You're right. That's right. We've got three more games to do. It's the first time we ever, we can ever say we did the Banjo Kazooie run. And the day is still young. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad to be done. Really. Um, the only human in the whole game. I don't even think about that. All right. Yeah. That'll